welcome agents to strain 13-LKY of the Zero Point Report, a broadcast all about the news surrounding the Secret World IP. Today is February 6, 2000, and oh, I just forgot the year, 2020. It is 2020. <laughs> and I'm your host for this evening, Ocho. With me tonight, we have Ember. Hello. Ember's over there on the right. We have Jimmy the Rabbit. Hello. We're flanking him, making a Jimmy sandwich. <laughs> and <laughs> <laughs> had, had to make it a little creepy. And uh, also with us, we have Antita. Hello. Say no, no video, but we just set up the video like. No, hell no. <laughs> last, last, like two weeks ago. Nobody needs to see that. <laughs> we could just put like a cutout. Yeah. yeah. Ember, you could just like do a little cut and paste, slap a little. What would be the picture though? The bunny head. Uh, I know that's kind of Jimmy's trademark. <laughs> oh my god, am I taller than you, Jimmy, in game? I think that's possible. Uh, it totally is. We've seen Antita the size of like skyscrapers here, in, uh, <laughs> yes. here, oh, here on the Agartha platform. So it's possible <laughs> of course, uh, that they kind of put her back down and just forgot to put an inch or two. Yeah, I, I'm definitely taller. <laughs> I bet you it's a spacesuit. Hold on. Let me see what happens if I take off the spacesuit. I wonder if it's... um. Will you grow an inch or two? Are you being constrained by the suit? Yeah, because whoever is behind you, nope. I don't know who that is. Nope, nope, uh, nope, nope. But, they're... but Spets look to be about the same height as Antita, right? God yeah. damn it, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> if anything, Andy might have permanently shortened you. <laughs> yeah, what was your slider when he created? <laughs> I'm a max height male with a bunny head on. I, there's no way a female character can actually be taller than me. Unless he jacked up my size, which he probably did. He probably did. <laughs> well, maybe. Oh, well, hold on, hold is on. It? Is, you're you're also on a slope here too, I believe. Yeah, that's what I was looking at right. now. Well, I mean, let's, let's yeah. Find a flat area. Hold on. Before is, uh... we yell at Andy. <laughs> Before we yell at the gatekeepers. I mean, we could yell at Andy anyway. Oh no, nope. you're still uh shorter. No, he messed something up. <laughs> You're, it's, it's, it's barely. I'm still the tallest out of the three of us. Either that or they left you taller. But I think, <laughs> it I could think, be. I think just looking at Spets, like I think he left me shorter. Yeah, no, Spets seems to be uh, seems to be about the same. Yeah, the the right height. No, same Andy, height please leave yeah. leave me as tall as I am. Oh, so I like that. <laughs> what happened is Andy turned me into a bunny. Like the Arctic Hair for Darkness War dungeon on stream, and then he scaled me up, like it's yeah, up super huge. And then like so, the bunny was like the size of a normal player, but it, it meant that like my player scale was technically really really high. And then so when he sent me back to a person, he didn't set the scale back, and so when I I didn't think anything of it, it looked fine when I logged out. When I logged in the next day, I was like four stories tall. <laughs> and so the whole weekend I did random stuff like I did cost of magic while super size I did the pyramid while super size which was insane like I did all kinds of weird stuff and then like on Monday he scaled me down and I think when he scaled me down he must not have put me right and I just never noticed I miss Andy's now. shenanigans oh that's yeah. great though yeah, Zanal, uh, Zanal says it's just your neck. It's just my neck. No way because of the spacesuit, though. I took the spacesuit off, and that didn't seem to make a difference. So no, no, it seems it seems to be a height thing. But uh, remember, um, what was it? We were uh, specifically we had the um, the fashion show. Remember when we had the fashion show? Mm -hmm. And yeah. at that point, Andy was always wearing a mask on his on his character's face. And, you know, I thought nothing of it because, you know, we all are wearing masks or we're all generally wear, wear crazy stuff. But he was actually wearing it because he had messed up his, his character's face permanently. 
That so, doesn't surprise me. <laughs> and, so, and so he wore a mask because, I don't know, like there was no face or something. <laughs> Underneath it. Who is the man behind the mask? So what we're saying is that it's possible they could have, you know, when they changed your size, may maybe maybe Zanal has the right idea. Maybe they just got rid of your neck somehow. I don't know. <laughs> so when they set your... He's supposed to take note of your scale so that when he sets you back, he sets you back to the right scale. Right? It's a, it's a number. So he doesn't just, like, scale you up, you know, 10% from your size. He sets the number, and then to set you back, he's got to set you back to the number you were. Yeah. So technically, Andy could leave you slightly shorter or taller than you were when you made your character if he just puts in the wrong number, <laughs> you know, up up or down a little bit. Well, I need to, I need to have a talk with Mr. Vandy. <laughs> why, why my damn character is shorter? <laughs> sure, take take uh. Screenshot evidence. That's why I couldn't get stuck in that one spot. Because you're shorter. Yeah, and I was trying to... I think it was on one of our more recent streams. I was trying to um, show you there's a spot you can get stuck in. In Agartha. But you can only get stuck there if you're a max height male character. Because max height males are taller than max height females. And it, like the, the way the clipping is, the only way you get stuck there is if you're a max height male. It's it's the the bar uh, in the upper floor of Agartha. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah, you're trying to jump into the wall for like twenty stuck minutes. And I yeah. get stuck. That's why I couldn't get stuck. <laughs> That's why you couldn't get stuck. <laughs> not, not max height anymore. Because you're not max height. Yeah. <laughs> should should look at the easiest easiest solution. Why am I not getting stuck? Is, if I'm like, max height, I should be able to, to be able to do that. Well, no, you're not you max height. Add, like, six inches to your height, like easy. It makes you look way taller. Yes. Look at Spets. He's taller than Tita. Like if you look at the shoulders. Oh yeah, yeah. Mm hmm. So. No, not no. on my screen. Then he does yeah, he, he, he is. <laughs> if you could just <laughs> stay still. No. No. Well, he it's the taller. same. This is the same height. Actually, on my screen, Antita looks uh, a hair uh -huh. part in the pond. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, watch it when I log in tomorrow or something, and then all of a sudden, I'm like this tiny, tiny, tiny person. <laughs> It's like, thank you, Andy. He left Balmer or Flappy for like a week or something. Like a week, yeah. <laughs> oh, that was funny, though. Doing a, uh, what, what did we do? Fun. Dungeon yeah. or something? We were doing um, a cult defense. We did a cult yeah, a cult defense, yeah. A cult defense, and every time Balmer would sneak up behind us, he'd be like, what the heck? Oh, oh, it's Balmer. That's right, it's Balmer again. <laughs> somebody left a Flappy or Oh, never, never yeah, mind. What's that doing here? Oh, it's, it's Balmer. It's Balmer. Why can't I attack it? <laughs> uh, so yes, welcome, welcome agents, um, to Zero Point Report, a podcast all about the secret world, where uh, we don't really have too much to discuss this week. We've got a couple of things, but nothing like concrete or or giant. So we're just kind of just uh, just messing around, really. Concrete giants? Concrete giants. Oh, I got healer. You guys are screwed. I got tanks, but you guys are even doubly screwed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm your glass cannon. What was that? Late 15? Yeah, this is late 15. Even though even though Ember's only E two, but I think we did this last time. We got to, we got you guys to fifteen. Let me just check my build. 
Yep, it's awful. All right, let's do this. Has anything <laughs> new happened with the weapons, or have there been any changes when it comes well, to? We, um, they now drop yeah, a new one. cache, and uh, the new cache. The Dark Agartha, Agartha new... ones. Yeah, the Agartha. Yeah, the arsenal. Arsenal. Well, That's it's not. It's not just the new cache. It's a new type of cache. It drops alongside the the current one because it's only, it's only talismans and weapons. Not, yes. Not uh, cosmetics. But and yeah, so located weapons... within that is um, talismans that uh, that allow you to summon the gatekeeper or tiny, tiny gatekeepers. Uh, not so tiny. <laughs> is it, I don't think <laughs> you're full sized. I mean, the one you fight. And Dark Gartha isn't the same size as the one in the Gartha, so he scales around. But I think, I think, fate, height. I think fate is actually smaller than Gatekeeper, the one that spawns, I mean. Yeah. I mean, whenever I've seen them spawn, they've always seemed a little on the tiny side. The, fa but, the blue uh, fate is smaller for sure. But a lot of uh, a lot of talismans that uh, that do summoning and summon uh, summon creatures. Which, uh, as you said, it kind of kind of has developed a bit of an issue because they are some of the now the best in slot gear. Yeah, the headpiece and, for uh, sure. Oh, okay. A little bit and, of controversy. So when when everyone, if you're in a group of like you know group of five, and everybody starts summoning everything, that they actually tend to get in the way. Did they fix that? <laughs> yeah, they body block. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, they're they're not. They're, like it's something that was in the the beta, the original chaos copies used to be solid, and so like you could end up trapping a friend in a dungeon in an AOE because they're inside of your doubles that spawn, and they can't. Oh my god, they them. work like those freeze mines. <laughs> like, so that they fixed that for the doppelgangers, but the the things that spawn from talismans uh, are solid. And so is the mnemonic doppelganger, your the mini copy of you from the museum. I've already had them try and kill me in Dark Agartha. Hundred percent. Is ready? Like as they start like pushing you off the the platform. Yeah, let's do this. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's more it's more that like there's an AOE and and you're well especially in Dark Agartha E17 and there's like ten AOEs and. You have one route to go through, and the stupid thing spawns right there, and like, and now just body block you into a fiery death. That's that's the problem. It has uh, shadow bound. I will never give up shadow bound. That is my weapon permanently. I have a legendary seventy. Mark three Shadowbound blade. But unfortunately it's really blade is really bad for the raid. Like I could keep running blade. I'm running out of stuff to level, so I'm currently leveling the Shadowbound Blood Book. Yeah, Ember, all we're doing here is we're just trying to keep stuff busy. Oh, no problem. Okay, hey. <laughs> you, you had me. Like, if we could just grab aggro things and pull it out. I'm just going to uh, add stuff to my Thor's hammer. Ring around the rosy. Bombs! Lots of bombs! Now, I think we all have that, uh... Well, Antita, do you have that, um... Achievement? Which one? Dying to explosions. You mean killing someone else with explosions? <laughs> Something like that, yeah. <laughs> no clue. 
<laughs> really? I don't. If, if I do, if I don't, I don't remember. Okay, we're gonna need Ember to volunteer for suicide. He's got the least amount of health. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna try and do it. Doesn't work. I have too much base health. So come stand by these bombs, and then Antita, you can detonate the bombs. Oh, I'm pretty sure I got killed by those before, so... <laughs> well, we have to kill someone else. Oh, okay. You have, to, you have to kill a friend, that's what the achievement's for. How does the chain achievement work there? Is what Zen's asking. So, you have to get enough bombs, like, near enough that it'll chain, I think, five groups. Which generally speaking means you need a really good size ring. You need way more than five usually for this to actually work correctly. Drag the boss over to the bombs. Oops. Here we go. It's the best way. Take it this way. Alright, there we go. <laughs> I forgot I shouldn't go myself. <laughs> <laughs> no, so no, I don't think anyone died from that. No, I came close, nope. but Ember, Ember, come stand over here before we start again. All right. Okay, and then the Tita can activate it because I think you only have, you only have four K. It should kill you. Oh, hang on, hang on. Okay. Yeah, you have to actually stay there while she activates it. <laughs> yeah, I accidentally uh, dodged. Oh, I'm dead. There you go. Oh, I must have done it. <laughs> oh, <the cut. laughs> we sacrificed no <laughs> I mean... I was like, is that a new thing? <laughs> I mean, there's always, there's always reason to sacrifice Ember. Yeah. Oh. I mean, it's a typical Thursday. It's a typical Thursday, <laughs> it's a typical Thursday right? <laughs> but if we don't kill you at least once, are we really, are we really playing? I'm like Kenny. Oh, that's why I'm having so much trouble. I'm like, I, I'm like, I have no idea where things are, are coming out of anything. Because in my upper right-hand corner, I've got Jimmy. <laughs> that's what she said. In the upper... <laughs> of my screen, so Jimmy's covering my mini-map. Oh, see, so you're on a completely different monitor. Well, actually, you're on a completely different computer for me. And monitor. <laughs> Oh, this is a, um, I, I activated the bombs. The Titan. I was like, I'm coming over to join. No, I'm not. Killed it before I got there. Oh, wait, leave it. No, 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 don't, don't. Why? Leave him alone. Just li run away. This is, this is free time. Okay. They, they don't do anything. They don't even make it to the center. They get to right there and they turn into little circles if you don't touch them. Ah, interesting. It's like That's like, you know, when you, when you need a cup of coffee or something. Like that's. <laughs> Go to the bathroom, you know. Uh oh. They're everywhere. They're literally everywhere. Holy crap. Get back here. Oh. Yeah, I completed a challenge. Yay. I got those ones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't doubt it. Always trusting Jimmy. Oh, so you know, those other two, you doubt it. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm the foundation. <laughs> oh, 
place. That was Titan number two. Man, don't run into Phil. Man. Oh, wow. Yeah, <laughs> right here. Holy crap. Wait, bombs. Bombs away. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> okay. So is the boss. Leroy Jenkins. I think so. Uh, the long range thrower is still up. Yeah, forget him. Oh, Ocho, okay, you died too? Yes. <laughs> I tried to solo something. It was not a good plan. <laughs> Are you trying to steal my job? <laughs> um, well. Do we want to, I mean, I, we should continue, but do you want to, like, um, go over any of the... We can. <laughs> the, a little bit of news. We can do news um, things. The only news uh, that we really found this week, um, and it's not not big, especially uh, uh, when it comes down to it, but we have we have two things coming up. Um, February twenty fifth is the launch of Conan Chop Chop, so that's coming up, and we we discussed last week of how Ten Cent has made an offer to acquire Funcom in whole. Funcom got a chunk. They got a. Um, they started off with a. Something like 20, 28, 29 percent share of Funcom, and they decided they wanted the entire thing. The entire company. They wanted the entire company. Yes. So, uh, so Funcom is going to make an offer, and you mean uh, ten that offer, yeah, ten cent has maybe. not been approved yet. The board of directors did turn around and say, "We think this is a good idea. We think that uh, um, that the that it should that it should be sold. That uh, they think that uh, selling to Ten Cent is going to uh, be a boon for Funcom. So we'll see. So that's not, but that's not set in stone. You never know. And they made an offer, something like." Um, 10 to 15 percent above market price for all the shares. So they're so they're really trying to make a big push for it. They really think that uh, that Dune is going to be a huge success, and they want in. I mean, it could be, but that's like putting all your eggs in one basket. Well, I mean, it's 10 cents. 10 oh. cents got a lot of baskets, so <laughs> that's true. And they got a lot of eggs. I mean, Funcom's got a lot of baskets. Like, that was the yeah, even point. Funcom's now is, uh, has diversified quite a bit. They've used the, the profits that they've made from Secret World. Well, like, you know, they've, they've got uh, like Mutant Year Zero, right? Conan Exiles. Mutant Year Zero, uh, Conan Exiles. Conan Exiles is right now the big uh, the big game of mm -hmm. theirs. Got Moods of Madness, Conan and Conquer. Like, they got, they got all kinds of things they're not reliant on like one property yeah it's no longer just secret world and that's it that fiddle is getting wrecked yeah it's what within the past uh what, two three years that they've been just ramping things up uh funcom wise yeah. Uh, 
Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying we'll to get stuck in the tree because I never had that before. Um, and I started glitching in the tree, but I didn't get the uh, achievement. Aww. Were you going the right tree? I think so. Back out to these bombs. Nice. We... Bombs are the best. So, uh, but as I was saying, the, but the only news that we really came across was that, and uh, and I'll read this straight from uh, investors.funcom.com. It is uh, one of the better sites for Funcom news. <laughs> Still? Still, yeah. Um, that it says, uh, reference is made to the announcement made by Tencent Holdings uh, and Funcom on January 22nd regarding that they had entered into a transaction agreement whereby Tencent will launch a recommended voluntary cash offer to acquire the entire issued share capital in Funcom for uh, 17 kroner per share in cash. The offer has been liaising with the Oslo Stock Exchange on the approval of the offer, and the offer document and currently expects the offer period to start on or about February 21st, 2020. Subject to the approval of the offer and the offer document by the Oslo Stock Exchange by such date. So um, February 21st will, will be on or about when the offer period actually starts. But we shouldn't actually think that it would go too far long after that that they will approve. It'll probably be a, a, a sort of a quick process, relatively. Yeah, because it sounds like they got everything already uh, set up and ready to go. Or he's got to sign the contracts and. Uh, yeah, so as soon as they, as soon as they came out and said that uh, that Funcom was interested, it was almost like that same day there was an announcement that they were like, "Yep, nope, we're down with this. We're cool with this." And not just because the president of the board at that point was Tencent VP. No conflict of interest. No, in this case, they kept not, themselves out of that interest. Yeah. All right. That actually, no conflict there. He died, Ocho. Shocking. Shocking. So uh, a couple of days before uh, Chop Chop launches, I don't I don't think the the launch of Chop Chop will have anything to do with it. But I keep hearing good things about Chop Chop, so and they're doing good things. That's my segue to the other thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm praying! Someone comes out of my circle. Oh, quick, I'm praying. Quick, I'm in. I'm in. I'm coming. Oh no, you're fine. Okay, we're good. Uh, Ember, Ember did it. Probably shouldn't be fighting this guy in the center. <laughs> yeah, I was just thinking that. Take <laughs> him that somewhere we else. Pull him away, yeah. Be here where there's bombs. Come here. Oh, I'm praying. Oh crap! Down on my knees. I wanna take you there. Ooh, I was running around with 19 HP. That's it. No, don't worry about me. I'm good. I could die. I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, no, I'm not dying. Quickly? No, I'm fine. Okay, I'm healing. <laughs> <laughs> You're our healer. That's right. Yeah. I'm I'm tanking. Don't worry. I got these guys. I'm aggroing them. <laughs> Me and you, Ember. We got this one guy. <laughs> <laughs> no.
Did I win in the game? Do we still have one of those to kill? I thought that was somebody's uh, revenant. Oh, maybe it is. That's throwing me off. <laughs> Probably was. <laughs> That's my boy. Good job, guys. I'm sure I already have a repair thing, I think. I already did it once. <laughs> okay. Now we can do that again. Yeah, it's just under half now. We might be able to get one more out of this. Ooh. If we stop fighting stuff in the center. <laughs> <laughs> if, we, if, we stop, if we stop doing it incorrectly, we might be able to, to actually win another one. Yeah. Yeah. It's like how not to do a cult defense scenario. <laughs> Fight right next to the Hagstown. Correct. Just stay here in the center. Just wait for shit to come to you. That's yeah, right. that's, that's how you're supposed to do it, right? <laughs> that's how we do it. <laughs> well, I read pop to E3 after this. Well, I read it on Reddit that that's what you're supposed to do. <laughs> and we all know. I was segueing to Chop Wait, Chop nothing but the truth. because, um, oh yeah, because they uh, helped raise a bunch of money for the Australian. That's right. Monster. Chop Chop posted on Twitter, um, hashtag Mighty Kingdom, and Conan Chop Chop helped raised over fifty one thousand dollars for those hit by the bushfires in Australia. Actually, they don't specify dollars; they just say fifty one thousand. Could be anything. Fifty one thousand. Can be fifty one uh, 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 rupees. 51,000 mushrooms. Yep. Uh, 51,000 drop bears. Drop bears? <laughs> I think I saw that video. Oh, uh, with the, the uh, I mean, three reporter? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Don't you dare. Oh. Yeah, we need these bombs. Get back your bombs. Uh, but they raised 51000 for those hit by the bushfires in Australia. Thanks for being able to be a part of this and for being able to do a small part for a very important cause. I can't trigger the bombs. He's standing in them. There we go. There's I'm one standing. right where I'm standing. I just killed Ember. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm dead. I think it was a little bit of both. So Conan Chop Chop, like we said, coming out on, as far as we know, February 25th, launching. I think on, at least on PC. I'm not sure why I can't improve that. That's weird. Yeah, I think it's actually uh, all platforms. I'd say it might, might be all platforms, because they did push it back uh, initially to add... The multiplayer. Uh, uh, multiplayer. multiplayer. Yeah, proper multiplayer. Where it initially had, like, couch co-op going on. Yeah, it was originally there um was a trend for a little while. It wasn't really known. Then they said multiplayer. Okay. And uh I think it was you, Jimmy, that uh, you tweeted to him. No, I think they they did actually say Oh no. Uh, uh guys, let's not go keep him in there. Come on, get out. Get out, you little bastards. There's a there's a big guy in there. I'll get him. Oh, he's right there. As a tank, um, I, I'll um, do it. I'm the tank. <laughs> yeah, get him, tank. Come here. You gotta, you gotta get further away. He's uh, still casting come stuff here. in there. Come okay. here. Come here. That's good. Nope. That's good. As a tank, I demand that you stay out. I'll go grab those in the middle I'm trying to get this guy but he's casting spine okay i got this oh. one i got this one wait did we get a commander or something why is there so much crap Hey, look at that. I died. Damn, sorry. <laughs> I should have a death counter. Come 
ones over there are dead now. Yeah. You're welcome. I got him. <laughs> yeah, we did it. Woohoo. Noise. Noise. We're not getting another one. <laughs> no. That's not happening. <laughs> no, no. No, probably not. 13.77%. Hey, miracles happen. <laughs> you, want to, you want to do it? Let's do it. Go for it. I it mean, doesn't actually, it doesn't hurt anything. It does not hurt anything. Except you our always pride. Get the loot. But we don't have much of that to begin with, so that's okay. Yeah. I don't know. Speak for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys have pride? Have much of what? Our pride. Hit pride. <laughs> Bombs though. Nice. Oh, they are only in one spot though. Gotta remember to drag things out here to the bombs. Yeah. He was, he was cursed. Oh, we got revenants. Take him to the bombs. Take him to the bombs. Don't, don't, don't fight him. Just, just take him. You also got to fill the maybe. Oh, maybe I shouldn't stand here. Over here, over here by the bombs. Over here by the bombs. All right, I'm here. I did not make it out of the bombs. <laughs> what do you say? The, the hunter did. Shit. <laughs> I was running through to keep him in the bombs. No, there was someone. Uh, we tried. Hey, we. Uh, oh, wait, there's boots. Wait, 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 uh, Mikey, Mikey. Before we grab, grab the boot and follow me. Wait, let's let's make sure make sure which one it is first. It is. The boot it is. <laughs> It's this one, right? This one. Yeah, jump. Okay. Let me go get the. Let me go get the boots. Oh, no, you okay. have it. No, oh, you have it. You, you have, have it. it. Oh, I had it. No, I didn't have it. Oh, go. I do. Oh, oh, Four. it's gonna be bad. Three. Oh, <laughs> no. oh, I'm. <laughs> so the way buffs work in cult defense is one person grabs it and it gives it to everyone. And it gives it to everybody. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I was, I was like, let me make sure what tree it is first, then I'll run back and grab it. No. It is tricksy, though. It took me so many tries to get it. I think it's, you had to jump from this rock, I guess. I don't know if it's the... Uh, it's the center of like, the part. From the rock? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because you're coming in from the rock, and then boing, and then up in there. Interesting. I always try to get close to it and then like eh, into it. So you know, that too close, like you're gonna like face plant. You need like an arc of a jump. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's why I said from this rock is probably good. That's why the last time I had it, I seemed to have been in the tree, but like I seemed to have missed it and was caught in the branches and was just kind of floating for a couple seconds. Don't forget the loot. Yeah, don't forget the the loot. The warrant. Hey, this new piece is level four now. What? Hey, I actually got an agent dossier. Hey. Lady of Lady of Mist. Nice. You didn't have that before. Nope. I have like no agents. <laughs> Lady in red. Level four now. Call me a custodian when I'm done. Signet. What signet do I have to upgrade now? I'm curious how many points that will raise Ember's item power. Uh, let's see.
Item power 232. And what was it before? It was the same, right? I forget what what was it on that. Was it the same? Yeah. I don't know. Did you not move at all? I do like how you placed Antita creepily looking over Jimmy's shoulder. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering how long someone would notice. <laughs> should expect around more of the end of February to see more uh, more anything concrete about 1010's offer on Funcom. Um, I saw a couple other things. Uh, Natasha, Tasha Rowe, um, the, mm, I want to say she's the head community manager? Yeah, she's like yeah, the... Uh, she's, she's the lead community... The lead yeah. community manager, that's what it is. Um, posted on Twitter, she said, hey, Influencers, content creators, and streamers interested in Funcom games, get in touch with me for future opportunities, cooperation, and other fun stuff regarding our games. Don't be shy. I don't bite much. Retweets and share. Super appreciated. Thanks. So, um, basically saying that, yeah, if you want to, if you, if you are a streamer, if you are a content creator, if you do stuff on YouTube, if you, uh, have a little stage out in front of your house and you like showing stuff to your neighbors, get in touch with her and she's <laughs> going to bite you. That's pro probably not who they actually mean, but, um, your neighbors uh, might look at you weird. Shoot her, shoot her a DM. I did. Uh, I shot her a DM because I'm still waiting for her. Pretty sure I was pretty sure I was on her list anyway, but, um, I shot her, I shot her a DM anyway, just to say, Hey, and say that we here at the Zero Point Report also are totally cool with showcasing anything that they want to showcase, I guess. <laughs> slide, slide, slide our way. Yeah. Um, you guys are going to showcase we're, we're kind case of already out of it. it. Anyway, so, I mean. <laughs> we'll show that case, all right. <laughs> we're going to this case. We're going to show it hard. So yeah, so if you want to join in on that and you consider yourself an influencer, I hate that term by the way. That's like that's like one of the terms that always grates me. It's influencer. so cringe. It's cringy now. Yeah. Content creator, streamer, that that's more of a that's more of a, an actual thing, but influencer, that's uh I don't I don't like that term. Um Zen says so you feel this is for SWL and expect you to promote the Dune with Aquaman guy. <laughs> <laughs> like, Aquaman guy? Yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, does he mean um with uh Momoa? J yeah, Momoa. Momoa, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the movie. <laughs> well, I mean, to maybe to be fair, we did the the part of the rebranding of the podcast was to like diversify a little bit and cover, you know, Funcom stuff as a whole and not Correct. just Secret World. Correct. I mean, our, to, our to primarily focus on Secret World and keep it keep Secret World tops, but. To kind of focus on on all the other Funcom properties, um, because as a whole, you know, you'd expect that if if Secret World is doing well and if Funcom is doing well, then Secret World will be doing well. That's, I mean, that's the. So I just really like most of their stuff. That's a theory. <laughs> that's what I wanted to actually ask you guys. Once that news hit, like, what was the reaction in the community? Like, were people optimistic which, which or? Yeah, about Dune, uh, not sorry, not Dune. Um, what's it called? Oh my Vincent. dear lord! Vincent. Yes, thank uh, you. Vincent. Um, I mean, it's probably split between like, oh okay, or or don't care and tinfoil hat time. Yeah, a lot of people were kind of like, okay, all right. Like it, the the twenty nine percent acquisition basically affected almost nothing. So yeah, that was um, that wasn't a big deal. Yeah, but that was only twenty nine percent. That right? got some, you know, tinfoil hat response. Oh, it totally did. Yeah, and maybe those tinfoil hats were correct. We were just like they're buying a little bit now, but they're gonna buy the rest later, which is actually technically correct. <laughs> yeah. yeah, now. <laughs> 
but yeah, I don't know. Like it's uh, so yeah, you do have those people, but they're all they're like the same people. The same people are are you know all the time are like, uh, no, it's it's doom, doom and gloom. Always, yeah, changes. Yeah. We don't like change. This this game is yeah. dead. We need some change. We need a little change. Toff says hi in chat. Miss Dantita, hi everyone. <laughs> Yeah, apparently I'm not logged into Twitch, so I can't post comments. <laughs> I don't have any of my passwords anymore. Dang. <laughs> oh, no. Just like, what the heck was my you username? You have to make a new one called Not in Tito. <laughs> <laughs> I might be able to shoot you the password for my bot, maybe, you know. Nah. They don't have my name attached to it. No, no, I had enough bot <laughs> dealing with <laughs> back when he was through Hollis with media. No. Hey, anyway, hi, Top. Oh, hi, Holo. So, yes, we see uh, Top's in chat, Hollow Point. Uh, Top, Top was the winner of our um, Moons of Madness t shirt giveaway. Oh, right. Nice. I'm still mad I didn't get one of those shirts. And has now made me an expert on shipping to the Ukraine. But it successfully got out to him. I was actually kind of scared for a while that it uh, <laughs> that it wasn't going to. <laughs> because when I when I shipped out the um, the T-shirt, I see your tinfoil hat over there. Um. <laughs> Then when I shipped out the T-shirt, it was you know I got tracking on it, and the tracking like stopped like a week later, just completely. <laughs> so I'm glad that it did finally get to you. I really am. Um, say, but it did. It's good. Everything worked out well. Awesome. Uh, and also, yep. Hey, Hollow Point. What are we doing now? What are we doing? Just say yes. I'm healer. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm pink again. I do this. I do this by myself. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Are we attacking everything <laughs> on the way up? That's why sure. I think it was a talk. Did you have a question about something about shipping to to Ukraine, and I was like, ah, I know this. I read over all of this paperwork. Yeah, I mean, I can, I can do story mode in my sleep. I honestly think with Antita, we probably could, we probably could do E1. Antita could probably be the the other half of the duo for E1, right, Antita? What for the? Because uh, you need two tanks. It's because even in E1, I don't think you really need a tank. You just, but you have to swap aggro. A duo of Sorbonne near Ukraine, so I can see the cancer day. There are indeed dodgeable pods. Yes, yes, there are. But that's. Dodgeable pods, I think, is only in story mode? I, I don't think they're dodgeable in E1. I'm not positive about that, though. Did we miss Ember? Where's, where's Ember at? Uh, Ansys loaded in. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Which is bad because he's the one filming. <laughs> Good thing I got my hat. <laughs> a tinfoil hat's amazing, by the way. <laughs> oh, not that way. I like how you had that all ready to go. The tinfoil hat. <laughs> I just download it and uh, re or, uh, resized it. There's no no pods in story mode. There, no, there totally is. They're just really, really easy to avoid. In fact, in story mode, if you just stand up far enough on the grate in, in the third phase, 
you'll never get potted pretty much because they always pod the NPCs first. And then the pods in story mode just fall off after like 10 seconds or 20 seconds. So if you don't turn around and you just stand up front, you'll never see a pod. Doesn't mean they're not there though. Waiting for Ember? Uh, I'm just going through the parking garage. <laughs> He's icy. Yeah. Yes, I see him. You're going the wrong way. Oh, there you are. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Oh. So I remember the first time that uh, <laughs> way the back when we uh, we came into whoops we came into the uh, raid back in. TSW, right? So <laughs> we couldn't get past the birds. Uh, don't ask. It was way back when. And then uh, Galactrix decides, oh, so we're just going to run, run through, right? <laughs> so that's what we did. And we're met by that blue thing uh, like, on the, like, on the gate it? here. It's like, nope. <laughs> We ended up dying so many times to those birds. And we're like, well, how the hell are we going to do the rest? Is this it? Like, <laughs> is that the end? Like, was it just birds? <laughs> what? seemed like a problem. Yeah, the bestial build hit pretty hard. Also, I don't know if it happens in story mode or not. I don't remember. But that is something that can happen. If you leave ads alive and a shadow wave happens, then they get turned into bestial filths. So don't, don't let, you know, the little filth people stay alive. Because when the shadow wave hits, they will turn into bestial filths. And they will eat your face. Of course, I'm the dummy that dodges right now. <laughs> uh, hey, I'm still alive. <laughs> you just stand up here. You just stand in the center. You can just place a Manny and, and they'll, they'll die on the Manny. But Tia didn't steal them all. <laughs> She's being hammer. She's being greedy over there. You're taller right now. <laughs> <laughs> I know short people problems. <laughs> He's gonna be like, nah, we need to wait for a major game update before we uh, change that. Yeah, you gonna be waiting for a while. <laughs> yeah, we a week or so, honestly. It's gotta be a major expansion. That's the only way they can change stuff. Oh, major? No. <laughs> South Africa. No, the second part of South Africa. You mean Congo? Yeah, the Congo. South Africa, yeah. Oh. Well, no, it's going to be South Africa. Can't go to Congo yet. I don't know about... Well, I mean, okay, so they could add... There's like a investigation mission missing and... So like something maybe like another mission or something, investigation for sure. But as far as like new release content, I would imagine it'll be Con Congo just because that's what your story mission says you're waiting for, right? Indeed. Isn't that what the blue marker says currently? Oh, mine. Our cards wake. Oh, it just says await word from your faction handler. Yeah. No, at the end of it, it says, you, like, I think your faction handler says you're going to the Congo next. I mean, yeah, they Is, said that. Yeah. Are you, you going to jump the wave? <laughs> no. There's up. You can jump the wave, by the way. Really? How? Yeah. 
You just jumped. <laughs> <laughs> you tried, obviously, not at a good time. So, so if you turn yourself sideways, you can see the black wall coming forwards. And if you jump at the right time, and granted, it's really tricky because of server desync and stuff like that. But you can actually jump the shadow wave, even though it's like five stories tall or something. How come I'm always the one getting the uh, filth circles? You're standing out there. Oh, that one? Did you not watch my video? <laughs> no, I didn't watch your video. Remember, <laughs> come here. Uh, well, after the cinematic kicks in, probably. I have a two-hour stream seminar you need to watch, apparently. <laughs> no, but seriously, come here. By the, by the worker. Once you're out of the movie. Yeah, once I'm out of the movie. It's a longer one. Did you not <laughs> see it before? By oh, the no, cinematic? I I've dragged him through this before. Yeah. All right. All right. So, you can grab your grab your loot and then come up to the front, and I'll show you. Where's my loot? What I'm talking about. Oh, here's my loot. Give me my loot. All right. So, basically. If oh you're yeah, not yeah. Up on this metal plate, you're a potential target for filth. I remember now. I remember you telling cast, me that last time. So whenever he casts a fist, like the next thing he casts is a filth. He casts like fist, filth, fist, filth, fist, filth. And if there's in the later uh, elite levels, if there's no one to cast the filth on, he'll do personal space. That's why you have to have someone outside of range at all times placing filth. Because otherwise he'll just, he'll do the same thing that Final Resort is. He'll just do like a giant AOE, like kill everybody thing. He did personal space on E1 within like not even 10 seconds. Because everyone was hugging? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. He's like, get away from me. That's well, the person. Kind of weird. Yeah, it is. It's really cool because Ember, let's see. Where, Ember, what are you what are you rocking here? Uh, yeah, oh. Ember's LA main. For whatever reason, people that are ranged as a main hand. That are especially like you know lower tier people tend to automatically stand at max range like whenever possible which in new york raid is horrible because you end up with a half the raid like standing way back off the grate because they're standing at max range and then just dropping filth everywhere that's a really common problem in story mode i was doing a pug one on one of my alts that was like super low and and literally, by the by the, we actually failed killing it because at the end there was a solid wall of filth behind the grate, solid. It was wow. just so you couldn't go anywhere. They, he did final resort and no one could get out. <laughs> Everyone just died. Well, guess I'll die now. That's my life. I'm just gonna try people to run through the center we're until we run on the left side. Yeah, the left side is a really bad habit from uh, an old cabal leader that knows better, and then because of him training people, um, a lot of other people got trained up to run in from the left side. That's a horrible way to run in. You, everyone should always stack on the sewer grate. For engaging. Why? And then you run straight up. Where are you, Antita? Come here. here. <laughs> the whole raid should stack like right here. And then see this line? Basically, you just run forwards and whoever gets the filth keeps running and puts it right here. In this front corner. It okay, so anybody. what's wrong with the side if you place it on the side? Because, well, for one, no, the, the current thing is everyone stands over here. And does this weird arc where they go like this and and come in and you just wasted like 20 seconds of dps time oh okay when this is what you order, mean yeah yeah here, here you just all run in 
and the one person that has filth just keeps running straight and everyone else is already attacking. And once you place the filth, guess what? You're right here. You're just attacking. Right. Anyway. See what you mean. So, and this isn't new to Legends. I mean, this this super great run straight in, put in the front is like from TSW. Like it's. I've never seen that before. I've never been in any of the <laughs> groups that did that. I've been trying to train people. This is another reason I did my seminar stream on this. Is like show like what the what the good methods are, like why they're the good methods, what the issues are with other methods. Like even if they're working for you, the reason they're not optimal. So like, that's the issue when somebody puts out something first and like everyone's right. like, oh, you know, we'll, we'll go watch the fight. So they watch the one that has the most views, or they watch the one that is, you know, has been around for a while they watch they watch that one and they're like oh that's how you do the fight and then they get you know they kind of yeah, do it from that like, way all you had to do is go watch like you know shoddy's guide or shade's guide from last spike back in tsw and you would have seen like the way to do it <laughs> was you stand here and run in but because it's the same fight like the nightmare raid is the same fight as like e10 raid it's just minus the color bars from ages New York never had any actual Aegis mechanics. It just had Aegis bars of extra, you know, health, essentially. And it's not like the other ones that had, you know, stand in a certain color and certain shields or any of that stuff. So all the, me all the mechanics are actually the same. But, um, yeah, yeah, so... Fighting against the like the that whole ingrain like the uh, most people I see stamp start over here, and then they they do this route. Um, and I asked I know I know who started it, and I asked them why they keep why they tell people to do that, and they just um said it was basically idiot proof. It was easier to teach people this way than than the than the other way. <laughs> like that's not a that's not a good reason to do that. In my opinion, like you should tell, you should at least teach people like the right way, and then if someone has problems, I guess you could try the idiot proof way. They basically just didn't want to take the time to teach people the right way. It's kind of sad, but uh, yeah, I'm spreading the word. <laughs> <laughs> well, going forth, that's what I shall do. So this little pocket, and then just run forward. And then if you got the filth, yeah. Yeah, keep running. You, you just run it right up into his armpit, like right here, or into his thing, like this corner. Because there'll be, there'll be filth like right here, right? Like there'll be a wall of black. Yeah, because I mean, by the time you actually place the filth, be it wherever on this side, y y the chances of you being knocked out of sprint are high. <laughs> and if you're melee, it takes you a while to get back. Yeah, well, not only that, but, like, everyone in the raid is running this weird, like, boomerang route, right? So everyone, like, the tank runs in and everyone else comes in a DPS how many seconds later? Yeah. And I, ideally, ideally, you want to have no pods in first phase, right? That's when you know you're, like, everyone's doing decent, is you don't even get a pod in the first phase to deal with. But, you know... Groups that are like right on the line of getting one or not, the the method that you run in can make that difference, you know, just as as far as DPS time, because the fight starts when the tank engages, and the tanks always run in from like the center basically, or or from from here, because they they just run straight in and get aggro. They're not going to get filth anyways. Yeah. Because aggro car targets can't get uh, filth. They run in, and meanwhile everyone else is like. <laughs> Taking the scenic route to go come join the fight. <laughs> they said it's it's a. I think they had problems with people that were newer. Like they would you know um, end up placing it somewhere like here in the middle, or they would jump and mess it up or something. I get it. It takes it takes some tries. Being in front of the grate really triggers personal space. Zen S, yes. If everyone in, in the in not not in story mode, but in the later tiers, if everyone is up on the grate, if you're up on the grate, you can't have the filth cast on you. And if he has zero filth targets, he does personal space. 
So if there is no one outside uh, in in this open area that he can cast the filth on, he has no filth targets, he will do personal space because y'all are too close. You're up in his business. He says, hey, personal space, man. Back up. <laughs> oh my god, Ocha, do you remember uh, the raid? Flappy, uh, that little skit that we did. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that is just... the, um, I still have the, the thing on my uh, dashboard. On my uh, uh, desktop. I still have the, the script on my desktop. Hey, Boomer. Nice. It's on the mention today, by the way. Yes. We had Bomber News. Bomber is our local celebrity. Views. views. Is Bomber News views? Bomber News. Bomber, Bomber, Bomber News. Uh, yes, the Secret World Legends Twitter account uh, tweeted RP Roll Call. We've been lucky enough to be graced by one of the finest roleplay communities around. We invite uh, hashtag SWLRP, past and present, to share their personas and memories. This is Klaus Vommer Richter, lore master extraordinaire and steward of TSWDB. And a rather, rather dashing picture as well. Did you get the second part of that, by the way? There was a second part they added. Can, I can share it if you didn't. No, see. I don't think so. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. And then they, they, they tweeted uh, after that a bird like fellow of an alchemist and plague doctor with unyielding curiosity, serving as an agent of the Illuminati, and is a bee who, despite great childish and cowardice, fights ardently to help others and protect Gaia. Along with all that he... That's where it cut off. Uh, with all that he loves and cares for. <laughs> cut off with like three words left. Yeah. <laughs> I just thought you couldn't say the L word. <laughs> He's like, I can't I'm not say love. love. I can't say <laughs> I can't do it. It's that word. It's a l l l l So close to Valentine's Day. I, I was going to say... <laughs> A real cliffhanger, yes, indeed. Man, I haven't said I haven't celebrated Valentine's Day in like years. Really? Yeah, my wife and I's uh, anniversary when we started dating is tomorrow. It's the seventh. So, so we always have done that and just kind of eschewed Valentine's Day. Like tomorrow is basically our Valentine's Day. <laughs> Aww. And everything's cheaper, Guys, too. Guys, will change when your kid gets older. Maybe. I don't know. We kind of like it because, you know, restaurants aren't as populated the week before. Yeah. Well, I just mean, like, like mine's in school. So, like, Valentine's Day is, like, a thing. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, totally. You know, it's like, you gotta get everyone in the class at Valentine's. Class Valentine's. Class Valentine's. Hey, you, you're my Valentine. Are you really, though? Nah, not really. You're <laughs> <laughs> Sp Spreading out the love. I love you all. <laughs> I mean, my kid does, though. So it's, it's fair. So was it oh my god, Valentine's I kept Day? hearing you refer to tinfoil hat, and I just noticed where it was. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, what is it? We had... Um, what happened last val Valentine's Day in game? There was a... <laughs> there, what was last year? Was oh, that the, the shenanigans? Pendants. Yes, the heart pendants. The heart pendants. Yeah. <laughs> that was during a show, too. Yes, yeah, it, it was. was. <laughs> it wasn't supposed to be on. It got turned on, and then... Uh, right, yeah. Really? They turned it on, like, a, a day too early, and suddenly stuff started happening, and everything started imploding. It was good times. That was good times. And, like, people made, uh, like, alts with cabals just to take people's heart pendants and then like put it in the cabal bank and delete the cabal and delete the <laughs> that's right 
That was pretty great. I'm 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 being told that's not supposed to happen this year. Hopefully. Instead, it'll be the heart earrings of Doom. <laughs> no, they didn't delete characters then. They deleted the Cabal. So, yeah, so someone would create a Cabal, invite all these people into it, let Wait, them use the Cabal, cabal bank. So, like, like, I can have an alt, I can make a Cabal, right? And then you trade me your heart pendant, and I throw it in my Cabal bank, and then I just fill it completely, right? And then I disband the Cabal, and then the Cabal bank is gone. <laughs> And so it deleted all the uh, all the heart pendants. They did they did fix them towards the end, yes. Yeah, they they, they did eventually fix them, fix them. But it was funny because well, it was over the weekend. That's what it was. Yep. Right, the shows on a Thursday. Shows on a Thursday. They it right launched Thursday night. Accidentally, not intentionally. Accidentally, right. <laughs> yeah, because I remember we started getting all this stuff. Like, what, where are these all these presents from? What is this? <laughs> I believe Andy showed up. No, it was like yeah, maybe an hour we later. <laughs> we pinged him on Discord or something. Like, hey, Andy, uh, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Oops. <laughs> he basically showed up to verify the what the hell, but that's about all he could do at that point. That's like, about oh, all he could do because he, yeah. he was at home. Uh, okay. And, yeah. He's like, all right, well, good luck with this. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then so... And then Friday, I think it was supposed to be on, but then they didn't really realize the extent of the problem, and there was no... So it went the whole weekend, I think, with the non-deletable pendants. So people came up with creative ways to to throw them into the abyss. Okay, with, our, cool. with our inventory being relatively limited as it is, that, yeah, did not sit well with a lot of people. It reminded me, like, because I think Leo Grimm was heavily involved in the uh, solution to, like, he was just, like, accepting pendants. Trade me your pendant. I will put it in my cabal and then delete it. Uh, it reminded me of that Futurama where like thousands of heart candies pour into like a a black hole or something or a collapsing star. That's all. I, that's all. I, that's what I think of. I think of all the heart <laughs> pendants that were destroyed in cabal banks. You know. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Because where do they go? Right. When you delete the cabal, where do they go? Nowhere. They're just gone. Have you guys noticed that when, when, uh, even before on Beyond the Veil, and now you guys are continuing to that beautiful tradition, whenever we talk about the game, it's always talking about without a shadow of a doubt, there's always some kind of uh, shenanigans that happened, you know, or something always. unexpected, or, you know, Andy turns into a van and starts slamming things. Well, there was that one time he got, he, uh, he deleted the jump pads over here, and he had to replace them with the uh, balloons. Right, right. He didn't actually delete them, right? He just, uh, they were still active. It was just the, uh, the image was gone. He deleted the image for it. Yeah, I, I, I've been <laughs> he's a, priceless. I've been, uh, I've been a part of many Andy shenanigans. Uh, a lot of them on stream, actually. But uh, I also make my own. <laughs> I mean, you being a couple inches shorter just kind of proves. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, like. I don't know. Like, I just do stuff. And, like, it's not even like Leo. Leo Grimm actively tries to break things. I just walk around and do stuff. I think and weird shit happens. Shenanigans. Shenanigans. That's like, yeah. The bomber is uh, is coining the term. Oh, that was coined before, was it not? I thought. Oh, it probably has been. Could have been. I, probably. You guys know the flicker bug, right? No. Yes. The bug, like the bug, like when you move your like view up and down, and like where are you? you see the skybox, and you don't see like any any rest of the world. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. well, I got that bug uh, a little while back, and I was having fun exploring Agartha with X-ray glasses. That's how I viewed it. <laughs> 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 and I did it so much that I broke it, and it went back to normal, and I was very sad. I, I broke the bug. You you went through the bug to the other side. 
And yeah, exactly. It did not expect. It apparently didn't expect him to do that. I love that awesome. thing with jumping with the uh, Krampus rocket that you did. Oh yeah, that's always fun. That's always fun. I did. What did I do with that recently? I like to show that to new, like newer streamers too, like around Christmas time. I was like, hey. Take out your Krampus rocket and jump off something and hit it and see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh my god! See, I tried it and I don't think I, I did it right. <laughs> Hang on, let me see if I still have Krampus rockets. If you were doing no. it in Agartha, it's nearly impossible in Agartha. It's it doesn't work very well. Yeah, I think when I did it, it was in Tokyo. It worked it worked great in Tokyo. Yeah, it works well pretty much anywhere but Agartha. Agartha is weird. It well mostly because Agartha doesn't have a lot of solid. Most of the walls are actually not walls, like or they're not like solid walls. And so yeah, it just it just works different. Yeah, I escaped the hell dungeon area with them to wander around. I've pretty much gotten out of you know all the dungeons that way. Gotten out of bounds in the, the raid. I got to sit in front of the tank in the raid. The tanks that roll by in the beginning. They're also not solid. What, the tanks aren't solid? Yeah. Wow. You know you know in the story mode, like story mode raid, you run out, right? And then you can see the soldiers in the tanks going by on the street. Oh, okay, that's what you mean. All right. Yeah, the, the the tank that rolls by, like, it's not a solid entity. When you get out of bounds there, you can sit down on the ground and it just rolls right over you or through you. It's pretty funny. Um, one of the weirdest things that ever happened to me, like, the, like without trying, like, the Krampus Rock is just me, like, messing around, right? Completely not trying at all. I was soloing E1 dungeons, right? I... I went and queued up, I got into an E1 Polaris, loaded in, and nothing was there. Nothing visible was there. Every single entity in the whole dungeon was not visible. It was just really, really bizarre, but everything was still there. Like, I could shoot it, it could hurt me, but I couldn't see anything. <laughs> <laughs> What I could see, which made it even like creepier and cooler, is anything that was in the water made ripples. Okay. And there's more yeah. than a few fights in Polaris where you're fighting the boss in the water. So like I wouldn't be able to see the, the guy I'm fighting, but I could see where he moved in the water. Right? It's like That must like, have been fun with the third fight. <laughs> the first part of the third boss, because he releases those uh, those little minions. I don't know yeah. what to call them. <laughs> the drowned mariners. Yes. Right? I think I think they're drowned mariners. Either that or they're like mini drogs, but I think they're drowned mariners. Um, well, even him, right? He usually has those ripples where he shows up. Yeah. But then he would show up, and like I would only see if he moved. Like if I move out of range, and he would chase me, I would see these ripples in the water. So you couldn't even see your teammates. Yeah, I was I was soloing. It was just me. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, he couldn't see me either. That was yeah, I couldn't see me either. That was like also made it weird because it's really odd to judge where your character is in relation to anything else, and like when you should be turning or run. Uh, the fights weren't so hard, but the running upstairs was very difficult. <laughs> Stand on the grate! I don't know where I am! <laughs> so you're like, you're going off of the, uh... You're, and also I play with over-the-shoulder camera, so my camera's like, to the right, and down a little bit. It's actually it's actually on my YouTube. I I recorded that, I think I put it up there. We it's should go nice, into a Polaris. It's got some nice <laughs> classical music, I think, behind it. It's just this eerie, silent-looking, empty Polaris. Oh, but be... well, you can see blood splatters when I shoot something in the air. <laughs> there you go. So there's that. I've never seen it ever before, ever since. It only ever happened once. 
and all I did was, you know, solo join the group finder. Like, I didn't do anything special. I have no idea what the hell happened. Not repeatable bug. Don't worry about it. Just fun. Yeah. We have time. Yeah. We Hope you had it. a good time. <laughs> There's plenty of bugs. We're like, oh, yeah, we know that happens. It's fine. Whatever. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, we're not changing it. Just just, just leave it be. It's become a feature. <laughs> that's right, yeah. Like the Krampus rocket. Right. They're like, we're not fixing that. Oh, that reminds me. Slash oh. Stuck actually worked on stream the other night. I was blown away. Does it not normally? Well, slash Stuck never works. It's... Slash Stuck is like the least working command in the entire game. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Bomber this said is, I've had um... to work a few times. Yeah, it, it it's worked oh, a few I times see. Like yeah. in the history of the game. Like it's <laughs> the amount of ways you can get stuck that it doesn't work on is is insane. It's like you're not stuck. Stop lying. No, it does tell you that by the way. Yeah. It says you're not <laughs> stuck. And you're <laughs> sitting there stuck in a rock, not able to move or get out, and like you lying son of a <laughs> Stop lying. <laughs> You're not stuck. Yeah, the floating part. Well, that's what weirded me out, is I was floating. Or it looked like I was floating. But it still unstuck me. That, like, never happens. So, yeah, it's yeah. like, you're not stuck. You're not even touching the ground. Uh... Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> like, 99% of stuck is us just floating there with our arms out. Yeah, this picture on, on is from... Uh... Larry's from, I think they call him Butcher, your name, Zenol. What is it from? Uh, it's from... The picture on uh, stream is from, from Polaris with the, the water. The other day. This is when they, uh, before the Udrog. Oh, so you had, you had everyone invisible too, Zen? Was it the whole dungeon? Or just that, uh, did it happen to you, like, at the end? I'm curious now. I've never actually heard of it happening to anyone else. I'm not surprised it could have. Oh, okay, then you had the flicker bug. That's different. That's the flicker bug that we were talking about earlier. Certain, yeah. It's still a fun shot, though. No, yeah. it's a great shot. That actually is what it looked like for me, though, like, all the time. That shot is what it looked like for me... All the like, like all <laughs> angles were yeah yeah all <laughs> angles were like that there was no there was no not like that you know like my my bug was very different than the flicker bug i'm very versed in the flicker bug i can get it on purpose i did the cost of magic magic achievement with the flicker bug on purpose you're a flicker bug expert so how do you get the flicker bug to activate uh, generally, die to the djinn in Hell Eternal. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Simple. <All right. laughs> Doable. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. like, realistically, like, that's the most, the easiest way to reproduce it is go fight the djinn in Hell Eternal. And especially if he chains you, like, the green chain and, like, you don't cleanse. Uh, the ground over there is all weird. Like, it's not flat. And, like, you'll die and you'll see your body, like, like, kind of fall partway through the ground and j most of the time when you res like you have a, like a 50-50 shot you got the flicker bug yeah shadowy forest can trigger as, w as well it still can by the way even in legend shadowy forest can trigger it's certain areas of it and I'm not I don't remember exactly where off the top of my head but it's like you're, and it, again, it's very uneven ground usually. Like you're running across something and then just all of a sudden, boom, like you, <laughs> you're flickering. Um, but uh, dying and dying and respawning uh, in, in a couple of places or from, from a couple of different causes will do it. Also, Titans in High Waves of Occult Defense have a ever increasing chance of flicker bugging. And they'll flicker bug like everyone in the whole group too, which is why a lot of uh, high level cult defense runs fail when they're trying to go like up into like the late thirties or like a OD forty or something. 
because inevitably at some point you'll get the flicker bug and then most people aren't able to continue because then you I can't see anything saying. right well you can see like if you keep your vertical movement at a specific angle <laughs> it's kind of or important to see okay, stuff that pops up. if you're okay with your view flickering non-stop then that's also <laughs> not a problem It, we, it's actually something that occurred, by the way, back in um, on the test before Dr. Arthur ever came out, when we were testing it. Uh, it did occur even then. Like, we had um, Nervell in Discord, and uh, we, we, we got it. And, uh, yeah, I, I kept playing through it. I think one other person kept playing through it, and then finally, like, the all four people in the group had it, and some people did not want to continue <laughs> Which is, like, understandable. That's fair, yeah. It's fairly seizure-inducing. Yeah, I would think so. <laughs> or if not, insanity-inducing. Some of us are already there. <laughs> <laughs> so therefore it doesn't affect you, yeah. Not really a problem. Zen said I did that entire Polaris like that on E8 and somehow didn't die. On the, the lore? Just assume if I can't see things, they can't hit me. Yeah, that's not true, by the way. <laughs> if you can't see them, they can still hit you. <laughs> Love that you were playing it with ostrich mode, though. <laughs> in the sand. If they can't see me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the vision is so based, based on basically movement. how my son plays peekaboo. Yeah. Just covers his eyes, and he's like, I'm good. You can't see me. I mean, obviously. Because if you can see me, I can see you. Hello. Right. Duh. <laughs> ah, good times. <laughs> so I think that's basically all the news that we kind of had. <laughs> the little bit, the little bit that we had. A little bit. We had some, some. A little bit. Fun doing some things. Reminiscing. Yeah, with Antida, with Antida, yeah, yeah. creeping behind Jimmy's shoulder. <laughs> Surprise guest. Now, if we it's move, awesome if we move Antida's yeah. picture right behind Jimmy, then he'll have rabbit ears. <laughs> True, but you'll have to make me a little bit taller <laughs> behind him. <then. laughs> <Pretty> taller. <laughs> <laughs> We already figured you're tall enough, Antita. That actually is pretty great. That's, that's, that's like dead on, like behind me somehow. That's awesome. Nice. <laughs> that's, that's that's like a like a profile pic or something waiting to happen. Yep. Screenshot. Quick, <laughs> somebody clip it. So, so agents. Uh, oh, what were you gonna say? I was gonna say, uh, so our, our next our next show should be after Valentine's, so maybe we'll actually have something to talk about. Correct. Should be the twentieth, I think. Because when's Valentine's Day? The fourteenth, right? Yeah. Next Friday. <laughs> next Friday. Wow, it must be nice not to have to know that. <laughs> hey, I have to know it tomorrow. I have to know uh, that date. But yeah, no, I, I don't know when Valentine's Day is. Um, the 14th. Okay. Oh, yeah, so we're having fun be... with Jimmy. Our next show is going to be on the 20th, uh, which will be five days before the launch of Conan Chop Chop. So that'll be also interesting. What did you do to my head, Ember? <laughs> <laughs> he gave you the uh, the tinfoil hat. Tinfoil hat. And the rabbit ears are clipping through it as normal. As as it should be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and it's got the show. You just need that moods of madness mask. The one person with a green screen. This is okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's true. Uh, Ember. Yep. Um, is your gear broken? My gear broken? Oh, it is. <laughs> <laughs> like, why is that nice pink color? 
Hey, I'm being different. <laughs> Everybody has that blue. Now it's repaired. He would have gone into something and like, why am I not doing damage? What's going on? I'm, yeah. I'm hitting these people and they're not dying. What the hell? I just fixed mine as well because it was probably pretty low. I got used to the, the, the bug where it didn't actually matter. Yeah, that's why I got used to as well. Yeah. Oh, the uh, where it, well, the bug was that it didn't degrade at all. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Right, so you could die like 20 times and you're like, eh. I don't need to click anything. All of a sudden, they fixed it. Like, there was specific ways you could die that required you to repair, even then. But like 99% of the ways that you died would, yeah, we just would count against it for whatever weird reason. And that was months. Months. Yeah, a long, long time. But they did eventually fix that. Sadly. I'm never sure which way damages your anima. Well, certain story missions and stuff, like certain solo instances, intentionally don't make you have to repair. Uh, also, uh, quick tip for the raid: if everyone in the if the raid is a wipe, like if your tanks are dead, go stand in a fist. Yep. If quicker hits you with a fist, and you die from that, you take no repair cost. And it's been like that since TSW when you had to repair, you know, with, with monies, with packs or whatever. But it's the same in Legends. You don't have to repair your shards. So, we, at, like, whenever it's a wipe, it, most raid leaders will yell, take a fist. <laughs> <laughs> Get fisted. Too bad it still <laughs> kills you. <laughs> it kills you, but it incurs no repair cost. It's one of the only things that does that. So it's a fist, but it's gentle. It's a gentle fist. It's a caressing fist. Yeah. <laughs> God. There should be like a lifetime movie with <laughs> liquor. It's on the Hallmark Channel. Liquor. The gentle Did fist. You... <laughs> <laughs> he hits me, but I just keep coming back. Next time on Hallmark Channel. <laughs> it's, a, it's a holiday classic. <laughs> right, the Christmas classic. <laughs> the gentle. Wait, wait, guys, did you did you all watch uh, The Witcher on oh, yeah. uh, Netflix? Not in not full. Okay. Yeah, no, 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 no. I, w I wouldn't do that. Anyway, someone listening Somebody, might yeah. not have seen it. Yeah, but. Uh, I couldn't help but can it be hopeful that maybe because of its popularity, someone will kind of, you know, even though we know that Johnny Depp before in his production house kind of bought the rights to do the TV series and whatnot based on the secret right, world, right, but... Right, right. It, I just kept thinking, oh my god, maybe, maybe there's still hope for something like that to happen. Maybe, maybe they'll actually strike while the iron is hot. Yeah. you're yeah, like doing well, and um, have, there, have there been other video game series? Movies? There's been a bunch of been movies been well? in the last few years, right? But then yeah, Witcher, movies. they just kind of nailed. Oh, the, uh... yeah, Witcher, they did really, really well. Like, really well. The Castlevania also, anime that brings up a point, though. I think Netflix would be a much better fit for a Secret World thing than trying to like syndicate it. Oh, absolutely. Yes. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, any there's any no point platform. in syndication anymore. Nah, in the past, they would try and like that. pitch stuff like for you know Fox or ABC or CBS or something. You know, like I can't imagine. I can't imagine like ABC. Like, well, I mean, like, Agents the Secret of Shield, World, right? ABC. Oh, yeah, well, yeah. Like, Inhumans, yeah. like, it's not, Inhumans, I think, didn't do well, but I mean, they've made some, and they've Inhumans. Made, like, attempts. <laughs> it flops but hard. I, I, think, I think their vision is more limited, or, or maybe there's just more. Well, ABC is Disney. What, what I mean is, I think in the TV syndication world, it just seems like there's more cooks in the kitchen, and maybe more oversight, right? Oh yeah. Oh, a lot more oversight. Yeah. If yeah, you put it, it on streaming service, you don't have to. You don't have to do anything as far as, uh, um, like the, 
I keep thinking of the ESRB, but what, whatever it is, the, the you know, rating system. The rating system, yeah. You can you ignore that completely. Yeah, so I think I think uh, you know, yeah, there was a sequel. I mean, Stranger Things I think is honestly closer to like Secret World even than Witcher, as far as just like the the type of it's weird, creepy shit. Yeah, yeah it's done right. and, and Stranger Things is amazing. And yeah. it's in modern world, like you said, Jimmy. Right, so. Exactly. So like, like I feel like just if you just look at how well Stranger Things is done, like that's, I mean, pretty pretty close at least as far as like the weird, creepy, you know, sort of otherworldly things go. Or even uh, what Sabrina, Sabrina the the teenage witch, mm-hmm. the the revamped Didn't... series on Netflix as well. That's doing well. Oh, that Did was. Did they also... also not do the Shadow Hunters? They no, did the was, series as well on was, Netflix. That uh, was CW. But Netflix. No, that that was on they... CW. They might have rerun it or something. They, yeah, oh, they okay. pick up yeah. series to redo. Yeah, because sometimes they'll also pick it up um, after I don't know two seasons. It gets canceled, and they pick it up and they do an additional season it, or something. Oh, they... Supernatural is ending. Something needs to take its place, right? But they did that with Lucifer. Uh, Fox canceled it, and then Netflix picked it up. Yes. Um, yeah, wait, Supernatural is ending? Yeah. Yeah. Hasn't that show been on for like the past 20 years? Uh, pretty much. Yeah, I think so. And like, I've only I, seen, I, I, I like, I've only had to like suffer through two right? episodes. Supernatural is amazing if you can get past, like, the CW factor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But I mean, I mean, legitimately, like CW has like this thing. It's gonna exist in all their shows. You're gonna have to sit through some weird, you know, little bits. But the core of the show, like the concepts, they're really good, and they do supernatural stuff really well. Actually, you know, I I, I totally agree. Actually, CW is has put out some really good things over the <laughs> over the years. Yeah, look like, at all they, the they DC kind of, shows. Like, they have yeah. this like tone to all of them. It's kind of like a teenage sort of tone. Yeah, yeah. you got to suffer through some, like, eyebrows and brooding and just weird, you know, moody shit and people doing things for no explainable rational reason. (laughs) Sexy vampires. (laughs) Like, you just have to sit through some crap. But the the core of the the stories and the arcs are really, they're really good. Like, you feel like if it wasn't on CW, right? Like, if they were doing it for Netflix, that shit would be way more hardcore. Right, yeah. It'd be, it'd be, it'd be oh, a yeah. little darker. It'd be a little uh, changed up. No, my wife has watched a couple of those, um, I'm trying to, like, Pretty Little Liars, I think she was watching. And it's like, she's she was watching it in the background, and uh, I wasn't paying the most attention, but over time I was like, you know, this show is actually not bad. It's actually pretty good. <laughs> Now we have you on air. Admitting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Clipped. Clipped. But but then again, uh, what um, Star Trek Enterprise was also on a, was also a CW show. So. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like like I said, they just they have like a certain tone to most it, of them. It has a but... certain yeah. But it doesn't mean they're not capable of being entertaining or, or even like halfway decent if you can just get past. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The CW effect. Yeah. Yeah. Because they will. They will. It'll be going great. There'll be some good action, like really cool, deep story lore, especially in Supernatural. Like there's lots of, you know, like TSW has, there's lots of Supernatural lore, right? And that's what makes it like interesting. And then they'll, you know, I don't know. He hits a dog and is now caring for a dog and falling in love with the <laughs> fucking hotel manager for no reason. Like, why am I watching this? And they and carried it on for a whole season. <laughs> Can we get back to like the werewolves and like and and Dom must have at least five romances happening simultaneously. Hmm. Doesn't have that. I think it just has like five betrayals happening at once instead. No, there's okay. right. yeah, there's some romance and stuff. Um, I think it's season three or four, no, season five. Uh, I forget which one brother goes in back to 
the lady that he thought he had a son with. And I know spoilers, oh, but it's yeah. almost twenty years. But come on, yeah. <laughs> it's been almost a decade, over a ten, decade. Ten year old episode spoilers. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I I remember that. Yeah, like, and even that that's not the one of the worst ones. No. <laughs> As, as as far as I got, it's season five. That's it. And what is it on now? It's it's like it's, seventeen uh, or eighteen now. Yeah, it's it's crazy long. But like the wife and I have been watching it together since we were married. <laughs> Which is I just I just had to look it up. Supernatural uh, apparently premiered September two thousand five. <laughs> so fifteen years, fifteen years. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Castile. Yeah, that's um I'm thinking I think that's what you're talking about, Vomer, right? Yeah, Supernatural season uh fifteen, I think, is the last one. Yeah. <laughs> you have to watch that much. Well, I mean, you know, we live in the age where you could just skip it anyway, right? Just be like, nah, just start on season five. What's the worst that could happen? Oh, my wife still hasn't seen the early ones. Like, she came in at, like, season seven or something. You really wouldn't be that confused, Aunt Bomber. You really wouldn't. It's like a, it's a Monster of the Week type uh, show. And Tina got on. Hey! Whoa, hey. <laughs> it only took, like, what, nearly two hours? <laughs> <laughs> the length of the show. <laughs> You know, well, I mean, yeah, people, like, people jump in games that, like, you know, they'll jump in, like, the, the well, it's <laughs> talking about Witcher. Uh, Witcher 3, you know, you can jump right into Witcher 3 without playing w Witcher 1 or Witcher 2. Yeah. yeah. And the funny, funny thing is that Witcher 3 has became or has a, a resurgence. It's a lot oh, a more popular resurgence. now yeah. than even when it first released. Because of the show. Well, honestly, it's a really good game. Like, I still need to finish because I was 100% yeah. in it. And then I ended up, you know, doing something else and and stopped. Because sometimes when you're in that 100% grind, like... It can get grindy. It, it, it can, can get boring. It can get, yeah. you know, oh, yeah. Plus, I was playing Secret World, so I think an update happened to Secret World, and then I vanished from Winter. You, you got distracted. <laughs> but it, it's... Uh, it's. I mean, really I've been playing good. through uh, Witcher 1 recently. And oh, uh, it's it's, and it's interesting. Cool. It's interesting. <laughs> I think I like the I story, but the the game itself is kind of like it doesn't know what it is. I think I spent like an hour on the first stream of Witcher Three, accidentally fighting something at level thirty three when I was level three. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're like I will kill this thing, and, and then I and I killed all of its minions, but I couldn't actually damage it. I spent an hour killing its minions. I couldn't kill it. I couldn't damage it. Apparently, you have to have a high level sword to even damage it at all. <laughs> so you're like, why? Why do people love this game? <laughs> like, this is awful. Well, also to be fair, I started it like out the gate at the highest level be possible. That's fair. That's fair. Was not only was I fighting at level thirty three, at level three, I was on death march difficulty, <laughs> and I didn't realize that the like the you know what the where to look up the level things, or the red skull might indicate I probably shouldn't be fighting this. You know, little things like that. It's a, it's a really well done game, though. Like, the story, the story, like, Secret World has ruined me for a lot of games. I can't really, like, I can't take a lot of game story seriously after Secret World, because it's just like, you guys aren't trying hard enough. That's yeah, true. And Witcher, Witcher uh, is really good story. Like, really, really good story. Hey, Manga, we see you. You're hanging out there. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah, I, I, will, I, will give it, I will give it that for sure. Like, it's... The writing is really good. And it was really cool to see that, like, there's some stuff in the, in the TV show that is, you know, like, stuff like if you played the game, you're like, wait! I kind of know that! <laughs> I get that reference. Well, that's why, like, like, like me personally, like, I will always go back and play a series, like, if it, a series of games or series, whatever, like, I always go back and play the first one and second one. That's why I started playing Witcher 1, 
when everyone's like, oh, let's you know, talk about the Witcher TV show. I was like, I'm going to go back and play the first one, and then I'll play the second one, and then I'll play the third one. Well, also, it's and... one of those games that lets you migrate your save, so your choices can affect the next game. Oh, that's even better. Okay. Yeah, I think Witcher. I think Witcher one to two, and for sure, for sure, Witcher two to three can uh, can potentially affect the stuff. Oh, uh, it's kind of like Mass Effect. Mass Effect works like that. Yeah, there are, there's a few games. There's a few games that have done that sort of carry forward kind of thing. Uh, but um, but yeah, occasionally you just get burnt out. I figure I'll watch the show eventually. <laughs> I'll get around to it. It's really good. We didn't plan on it. We don't binge much re- like recently because we've been like too busy. We like most of the time she would rather sleep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I'll just and I'll I'll stream something. But uh, no, we burned through that. We burned through that quick. Nice. Like three, like three, three, four evenings or something, which for us is like crazy fast. <laughs> She'd be like, "Well, I have to get up in the morning for work, but one more episode." <laughs> but we can, we can get one more in, you know. So that yeah no that and that's honestly that's saying something. It was, they did a really good job on that show. Because it would be really easy to do it poorly. It would be oh, like I'm thinking sure. back to um I'm thinking back to the show based on the Sword of Truth series of books and um like the the Richard Goodkind series of books and um. Like I, I read most of those, and I, I enjoyed them. I enjoyed them very much. And then they're like, "We're coming out with a TV show," and I, I think it was a, <laughs> going back. I think it was a CW show, and it was like, it was awful. It was, it was the worst. Fantasy, I feel like, is really easy to do horribly. Yeah. Uh, season eight of like, Game of Thrones. This is nothing like the. This is nothing like the books. Like I was expecting, almost like a. You know, because the books can kind of get like kind of gritty. They can get kind of kind of dark, and the show is just like light and happy and <laughs> romantic. And it was like, what is this nonsense? Well, it'd just be like in fantasy. They'll be like, oh, here's a wizard's hat and fireball, fireball, fireball. I'm like, aha, we did a fantasy show. <laughs> like it's just too easy to do really poorly. <laughs> oh, we need an elf or a tiefling. Okay, let's throw one of those in. Uh, by the way, I posted in the chat. Uh, if you guys take a look at that. It is the the post from Funcom recently. They asked um, fe- February second, uh, "What is your all time favorite Funcom game and why?" Asking for a friend, and this could just be just self promotion, whatnot. But sometimes, but Funcom sometimes seems to ask these questions because they're really kind of interested in what people are actually, you know, what what's on their what's on their radars, what's on their scope, and a um, lot of replies for Secret World. A lot of replies. Yeah. Well, they've been doing like that a bit. I don't know if you noticed. Like, there was a tweet like asking for content people, right, to give them information. Content creator people. There was a tweet mm-hmm. asking like your favorite board game. There was like, uh, that that was like today or something. I think the board game. Yeah. Today, like, they want your information. <laughs> yeah, they're like, give us input. We want input. So, hey, if they're asking for input, I mean, don't be rude about it, but give it to them. (laughs) So, yeah. Yeah, definitely. I love how they're replying to every tweet. Yeah, right. (laughs) That's, I mean, honestly, it is kind of impressive that, you know, that they're... Yeah, like if you if you look every time someone mentions something, Funcom comes back and actually re- replies to. It. That's pretty cool. They've always been one of the more uh, interactive. Yes. <laughs> Barbara says they didn't. Uh, they didn't get a reply. That's okay, no. Barbara. You got your own. You got your own tweet. I was yeah. Like, oh, we officially got a reply either. But yes, yes, Barbara got their own. Uh, got their own showcase. Our right, Barbara, a question to you. Uh, did you know that was coming, or was it just like a surprise? Did you just open up your um, 
open up Twitter and it was like, oh, hey, Bomber Love. Like any Jeopardy music. <laughs> do, 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 but yes, but on that uh, on the tweet, a lot of people, a lot of people were like, "Secret World, Secret World, Secret World, Secret World, Secret World, Secret World." So, um, you know, if you want to let Funcom know that if they were going to maybe do a third reiteration of the game. <laughs> do, oh no! Secret World Legends, the Secret Electric Boot Two The Legend of Secret World. <laughs> Remastered, yeah. You just gotta flip around. Oh, oh, oh! Secret World Legends Reforged. Reforged. World of, <laughs> World of Legendary Secrets. <laughs> oh no, not Reforged. World of Legendary Secrets, and then the lore that became Legends will now be just called Secrets instead. <laughs> just, just Secret. Right? Nice one. Because it went from lore to Legends, so if you flip the name around a bit. Those little yellow things can just be secrets. <laughs> I got a secret. Secret world. <laughs> like, I'll do it all again. I don't care. <laughs> I'll do museum number three. Bring it on. <laughs> <laughs> For every Jimmy who says he'll do the museum number three, there's probably like 20 others <laughs> that are going like, yeah, no. 20? I, I still have number. not completed my yeah. museum. <laughs> I gave up on the museum a long time ago. Shame on me. I completed it in TSW and I completed it here. Global oh, number will... one rep it again if you have to, right? <laughs> I will do all the things. No, I mean, I mean, though, I think what would be really cool is more things like Moons of Madness. Just more games in the universe. Oh, yeah. Like, I don't care what genre they are necessarily right i don't know make like a, a like coded unconquered make like a secret world rts i'll I'll play that if it's got story bits in it a, se a secret world rts oh my god <laughs> phenomenal Just saying. um yeah, battle yeah. royale moons, was, moons with madness was very well tied to the point that um like seeing people who who know nothing about the secret world universe in general playing it and it was like, like it's it's two separate levels of people playing. Like they're playing, they're like, oh yeah, you know, you got these, uh, you got the moons, and the the moons are these, and the, you got the the big cubes, and you got the whatever. And us, we're like, oh my god, like, I don't know. I think, <laughs> <laughs> like that's what it felt like. Moons of Madness, like a, a you know a, a heavy secret world player playing it, and everyone else playing it it's like it was on a, a whole other level because yeah, they, they people, attached it that much people will people have said like oh it has easter eggs i'm like no it, i mean it no. does have some easter eggs <laughs> but the whole thing is like on two levels of, of like you said two levels of understanding like you can play through it and not know and you'd be like oh yeah whatever you know weird Cthulhu shit you know oh this corporation whatever but if you know Secret World, like it's a whole nother. Right. Like you get down to the you get down to the bottom of the uh, of the station and you find uh, Samuel Chandra's identification and it's like, <gasps> <laughs> like what? Everyone else is probably like, yeah, okay, this guy, who's this guy? What in the sound? Okay, now I have to play it. I haven't played it yet. Oh, you haven't played Boy, it? Oh, sorry. no. <laughs> I mean, it's been a couple of weeks. Sorry. Bomb, even Bomber said, yes, the sound. The sound is what did, like, really does it. Like, you don't even know why, but, like, you're, you, it's like you get goosebumps for a second. Like, you pick up the key card and the sound plays, and you're like, I did something. It's, it's the Secret World uh, Mission it's Completion. Secret World Mission sound. Completion sound, yeah. They, they yeah. hide it throughout the game, yeah. It's, it's ding, or, like, whatever, whatever the ding <laughs> sound is. Yeah. Like, it's, and it's, it's so perfect right there because it is the, the card. It's him. Like, you recognize it. And, like, again, for anyone else playing, oh, it's the CEO. I got his key card. I don't care. Right? Exactly. You're like, all but right. So sequel the CEO's person, like, down here. Holy Fine. crap. Yeah. You're like, I got no. Chandra's card. Yeah, you don't he understand. 
I've got I've got his fingerprint on here. I can clone him from the DNA. <laughs> I mean, maybe not that. I don't know, but I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, maybe not go that far. But um, yeah. Yeah, there's. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't just Easter eggs. It was it was the entire thing. And it's like, <sighs> okay, you're an Orochi astronaut on Mars. Hello, like out the gate, you're like, wait, I'm playing an Orochi, <laughs> and I'm on Mars. I'm screwed. <laughs> <laughs> Like, of course I'm going to die horribly. This isn't even horror. This is every day I wrote the right. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we kind of we kind of saw that coming a mile away. It's like, well, I'm going to die. The question is Oh just my god, horrible. I'm a red shirt. <laughs> right, we, we may have well been wearing a red shirt. I mean, they did such a good job on that, too, by the way. Like, such a good job. And um, and Tita, like I, I don't know if you knew, we actually we actually had Scriv on to talk about moons. Oh, did he, did he write for it? Answer was the lead writer for yeah. Moons of Men. Mm -hmm. Oh well, no wonder. <laughs> that was, that was, that was, no yeah. wonder. That was, that was almost entirely Scriv. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, the game the game existed in some form prior to Funcom becoming publisher. But it was always a, like a Cthulhu horror Mars thing. And they went, well, wait just a minute. <laughs> we have the IP for this. And then I believe what he said is is because Scrib is like on contract. So they just heavily suggested to, um, what is the name of the the studio? Oh. The moons. Uh... Damn it, I should know this off the top of my head, but I should have Googles. Rocket Rock Pocket. Is it Rocket Pocket? I, I think so, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Rock, Rock Pocket. Rock Pocket. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Rock Pocket. Pocket Rocket. Oh, I like yeah. Rocket Pocket better. So they were like, hey, <laughs> you need to grab this guy. Like, like it was, you know, so like... Yeah. Um, because he wasn't a, because he's not technically, he's technically not a Funcom employee. He's a free agent. So they were like, "Hey, you need, you need to grab Scriv. You need to grab Scriv, and you need him to work on this." But yeah, he was the lead, the lead uh, writer for. Uh, That's for awesome. Scrib. Which I mean explains like why the feels the way it is. Like when you read read a lot of the text, you're like, it, it feel. I mean, it is you're a like, secret yep. IP mm -hmm. game. It's more than a secret IP game in name. Like, oh, we just set it in the universe. Like, no, it's it's got that same feel because it's got the same same writer behind it. And the interview, the interview script was very open because he wasn't under contract by anybody at that point. <laughs> right. He was a freelancer. Yeah, he was like, I'm not under any NDAs. Oh, it was really cool talking about like you know trying to. Basically trying to split the difference, you know, making making it so it was cool secret world stuff, and at the same time, making it so you could play it and and not know it, not know any of that stuff, and still appreciate the game. Which I still think a lot of people did. Oh yeah, I think tons of people did. But then all, but it did bring a lot of people who were like, wait, there's other games like tied into this crazy universe of dreamers and weird creepy horror shit what's this about we definitely got an influx of players from that which definitely yeah players. had an influx of players from the secret world but i would say to those people that did play it and didn't play secret world you know play secret world play secret world yeah <laughs> you're like, like you want to have all this explained then go, then go back and play moons again because yeah there's so much so much even from the very beginning even from like the very start when it's like oh pick up the picture of your dad and you pick it up and there's the savage coast lighthouse in the background yeah it's, which again if you're not secret world right it, who cares it's just who a cares picture. yeah it's it's yeah it's it's so it's so good so good and i believe it's also coming out for consoles relatively soon there was a delay, I think. I want to say there was a delay in the console release, but it's supposed to come out soon. March. Yeah. 
console release for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, Moons of Madness. Because, um... So that'll probably give a, uh, a huge boost as well. And Tita, do you remember Mental Case? By any chance? Was he one of the streamers? He he was. He was he was a streamer. He was a he was a uh, Black Spike member back in PCW back in the day. Okay, because like, uh, the name rings a bell. <laughs> I just couldn't exactly place him. Uh, he's a, he uh, I think he deleted his character on stream. <laughs> he raged so hard, and Andy had to restore it. <laughs> well, didn't have to, but he was he was nice enough to. Uh, no, he's he was um, Scottish. Like yeah, okay. He, he had a thick thick accent. So like I always hung out like him and Shoddy. Like you, well you remember Shoddy? We had Shoddy yeah. on the stream before. Yeah. So he was in the he was in the same group. Um, he he used to frequent the the stream as well. But he he popped in and to my stream. He still doesn't have a computer. Last I knew, this is like years ago now in CSW. He threw his computer out a window. <laughs> And he hasn't replaced it since. What, mental? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he raged through his computer out the window and then... Uh, <laughs> Holy crap. Well, he's maybe it's go- best. <laughs> so I, I was like, hey, Moons of Madness. I told him this Secret World, you know, related. Like, it's coming. It's coming. You can play it. It's coming to the console. Yeah, see, I found it here. The official date is, yeah, March 24th, 2020. I mean, yeah. For release on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. So it'll release on the, the two the two big ones. The only the only problem is going to be that uh, those people, if they do like it and want to play Secret World, <laughs> it's like, well, you're going to need a PC. <laughs> One of the reviews for Moons of Madness is, it's a great indie game with interesting lore behind the story. I'd personally love to see what else this team can bring to the table. <laughs> Wonder what else is out there. I know, right? Do you like oh, this? Lore, do I have some games for you? <laughs> yeah, try, just try the park. See if you enjoy the park. Oh man, my wife watched a video of some people playing the park. The park gets the park gets like weird. The really? park is super, super dark. <laughs> it is. And it was like three very chipper, like, British people laughing and joking the whole time, all the way up until the end. And when the end happened in the park, they were like, no. Did that? No. That did. That's how it. No. <laughs> I was like, we probably shouldn't have been making fun of the, <laughs> the game the whole time, because now you kind of feel like a dick. <laughs> Cause you know, cause she's chasing me around her kid the whole time, and they're just they're taking it much more lightly. Yeah. Because yeah. then when you get to the end of the park, that's that's a very very dark thing. Yeah, they're trying trying to play it as like a like a you know like a walking simulator, kind of like uh yeah. They're like, we're just gonna make fun of this game because it doesn't have any combat or doesn't have anything like that. And then right, you get to the end, it's like no, the entire thing was just one. Like the the combat was more psychological. <laughs> it's a one giant like mind screw. It's 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 going to to leave you needing a brain like washcloth. If you if you understand what's happening, you you don't want to understand what's happening. You don't, yeah. Like yeah, if you, if you fully understand, something's wrong. Well, yeah, it is now. Because you understand it. And you're yeah. like, oh, I don't want to understand <laughs> it. Make it go away. And, well, it's the same thing if you played the tie-in mission in Legend, in, uh, not Legend, in, in Secret World. If you played Seven Silences in Secret World and actually understood what was happening there, too. It's And, and it's the same person from the park. Mm-hmm. You're just like, oh my god. That is one That is one mission that I'm surprised that they haven't uh, haven't brought back for whatever reason. It's not tied directly to Nathaniel Winter's end, but it is tied to the theme park. Yes, it's tied to the theme park. To Nathaniel Winter? Yeah, no, not necessarily him directly. 
I mean, I think the you know the Winters name is probably mentioned in the newspaper clippings and stuff, right? Because it's still their park. Right, right. But, but he's but he himself yeah, has not, really nothing to do with it. Yeah, he's not he's not in there. Seven Silences was a Halloween event mission in the original Secret World that tied into the release of the park, which was also and, a Halloween release. Yeah, and so. Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm trying to remember why they said that one wasn't coming. You're tempted to buy the Funcom bundles. I mean, the park's not very expensive. It was on sale. I think Hide and Shriek is free now, isn't it? Hide and Shriek is free, yeah. yeah. And there's lore in Hide and Shriek, if, in case anyone didn't know that. Like, there's hidden pages you can find, and there's actually a lot of them. And there is actual story about Secret World characters in that game, like in the lore pages you can collect. <laughs> didn't you like? Didn't you say you made basically two to, in order to get them yeah. all? You made two characters, or bought you made two, two accounts? Yeah. I I have two Steam accounts. I bought two copies. I played myself, and went and got all the pages because it can be difficult to hunt for the pages when you're fighting somebody. Like even if you're losing on purpose, and you just say all I care about is the pages. It can be still difficult because, you know, they're actually setting traps and attacking you, and it gets hard to find the the pages. And that's all I really wanted. I just wanted to find all the pages. It was worth it. Ha- hashtag worth it. Yeah. <laughs> and now that, it, now that it's free, it's even more worth it. Yeah. Yeah. And he's still, like, stupid good at that game. <laughs> he is. Yeah, it's true played him on stream it's like it's, i'm like i'm playing hide and shriek poke around you know try and move step trapper too he's playing call of duty with spells like he's <laughs> if you watch him on stream he's like flicking the mouse like he's he's super fast for everything he's like he's he knows all the combination for all the best memorized. spells yeah by the time i've like picked up two orbs he's trapped like five doors and is like hopscotch through three walls and I'm just like, what? we are playing two different games. And what's crazy about that is Tilty was even better. Like, I recognize what Andy's doing. Tilty was on a whole nother level. Like, he, he would spank Andy at that game when he played him. And it's like... Although I think last time they played it on stream, it was Yen. Versus Andy? Probably. And I think he actually won. I think he, or at least he won a couple. They got some good good hide and shriek players over there. I would say Andy and and um and Tilty, I mean they basically, you know, <laughs> made the game. They <laughs> Well, I think Andy I think no, I think Andy was because he was in the commercial for it, remember? He was, and that was the first time we saw Nicole as well. Yeah, but I think they were in that because um, intentionally because they hadn't played it yet. I recall because their reactions were like legitimate, like they hadn't played Hide and Shriek yet, so they were. Now, granted, he's at the office, right? So once he played it that time, I'm sure they played it a bunch more. Yeah. Whereas Tilty, on the other hand, was in it from the ground up, and I'm sure that's why he's so much better. I mean, heck, if you, if you put a thousand hours into that into that game, you probably will be. <laughs> on a whole other level by that point. An hour. That's nothing. Those are those are child play numbers. <clears throat> what did someone recently um clue me in on? It was a uh, um when it comes to amount of time played, two thousand hours is the equivalent of working a full time job for a full year. What's 12,000 hours? <laughs> Six really? <laughs> I'm over 12,000 hours between Jeez. ESW and SWR. Because there are like 50 weeks, 50 weeks, you know, say, say you have a you know job where you take two weeks off um, in a year. So 50 weeks times 40 hours a week is 2,000 hours. Oh, wow. Well, I have a lot of years. I think I might have more years than the game has been out. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
So yeah, so it's just it's just straight up, just two thousand hours. If you do anything for two thousand hours, that's the equivalent of a full time job for a full year. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, I was like, okay, all right, now I feel a lot worse. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you feel worse. I feel better. Yeah. It's right. Yeah. Just what do you do? How do you get that? Um, what's the command for it in game? Last played. Steam, Steam counts both of them together. Steam okay. SWL. Um, I'm not as bad. <laughs> but this makes no sense. On Steam, I have 11,638 hours. Between the two, you know, original and legends, but that doesn't count like the other three Funcom accounts that are not tracked by Steam. So, just this, this, this like past year alone, like 2019, that doesn't include like, you know, 200 hours playing the No UI playthrough, like 200 hours or so playing like the. Um, it's like Scrub Bunny playthrough, like, like there's, uh, you know, 150, 200 hours playing One IP Man playthrough. Those are all on non-tracked accounts that are not tracked by Steam. I thought this, the game SWL just continued, um, accumulating the time from TSW, but. Right. Looking, but looking it up, it didn't. It doesn't for you? No, because it tells me that I was created on 23rd of June, 2017. So it's missing four years <laughs> from that no, particular no, no, in, date. In, wait, in Legends, it doesn't, it doesn't keep it. But in the Steam, but like Steam. Steam. Yeah, I never played via Steam. If you open yeah. Steam itself, it'll show the game and might show you hours played there. I, I think I opened it up via that once to get this particular outfit that I have right. on now. And, and <laughs> that so was it. Back in, the, back in the day in TSW and older versions of Steam, I think you could open it outside Steam and it wouldn't track it. But I'm pretty sure at some point forwards they changed the Steam client so like. If it's a Steam game and you and you go to launch it, I think it's tracking it anyways. If that makes sense. I think they've changed the way the launcher works. You you'd have to go check and see what it says. But my guess is it's gonna it's probably not a full accounting for you and Tita, but it's probably it does have some. No, probably when I would log into I would have to combine both from TSW and from uh SWL. But because yeah, for uh, SWL, it tells me I've only played 77 days and nine hours, right? Um, yeah. <laughs> I've got two, but the second one, I didn't even hit 50 with it. Yeah, because if you're, if you're trying to do it from inside the client, you have to basically log into each character and do slash played and add them all up. Because it's a per character set. Right. Okay, Seventy-seven days is uh, almost is over eighteen hundred hours. Anyway, so you're close, close to a full year. <laughs> Keep pushing those numbers up. Yeah. yeah those are rookie, <laughs> rookie numbers. You know, so like conser I mean, I so I can look at my my Steam number and I conservatively can say I'm over twelve thousand. Like that, I can just easily count from like non Steam accounts. But, I mean, if if I really want to get, you know, accurate, I'd have to go back and track the other Funcom accounts in TSW and those slash played hours as well. Just make a spreadsheet. A lot of hours. A lot of hours. Plus, I like Steam because it's, like, just there. Like, I think, like, anyone can just go look and be like, holy shit. <laughs> true, true. No, I've, ne I've never used... Um... I've never used Steam, and that's why whenever you see like people talking about Secret World or Secret Legends, and they're like, "Well, let me check the Steam charts," it's like, uh, "Remember, uh, Secret World Legends didn't initially launch on Steam. 
there was like a significant delay between when they launched the game and when it came out on Steam. Like, I want to say like a maybe a uh, like a month. Yeah, there was a month delay between the two launches. Right, and so all the people who basically were like, "Nope, I'm playing this day one," or "I'm I'm playing this within the first time span," and I'm going to be doing this, like they just downloaded the client normally, and I'm sure maybe some people moved over to Steam, but not not I mean I didn't. So um, many people moved over for the cosmetic packages, like Valmer for the feathers. They they had feathers, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, I I just like stuff in Steam. I moved over to it just for ease. Uh, but also, yeah, I got all the packages as well. But Steam has Steam has good tracking. Steam has a good screenshot. If you're into taking screenshots, Steam has a very easy screenshot. Yeah. You know, any Steam game, you just you know put it to one button. Well, also, and screenshot for you. I it was able to like sell stuff from other games via the Steam auction thing and convert it to Steam monies and then buy Orem. So like, <laughs> I was fair. That's funneling. Fair funneling profits from other games into Secret World. Nice one. Just work in the market. Because you like, you get like booster pack cards or something. You get those booster cards. Games. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm just like, for other games I didn't care about, sell them, and then, you know, uh, yeah. Buy Aura. Sell them by Aura. Okay. He okay. does that with PUBG Cosmetics. <laughs> It is pretty cool. Like you can, you, you, that that's even a thing that's possible these days. Booster packs. Yeah, no, it was weird when uh, when Steam kind of gamified that, and then promptly almost forgot about it because <laughs> they haven't. There hasn't been any changes to that in the past couple of years. Mm, I don't know. I don't pay enough attention to it. They use it. I think it's used pretty heavily for like the Dota tournament. Right, like they, like that's how that's how that thing is funded. The prize pool is funded a lot by what people buy. Right, they buy like cosmetics, or to support like certain players or or whatever. Like the market is is pretty, pretty weird, pretty large. Thanks, Kalani. Yeah, uh, Ember put the tin hat on me <laughs> for some reason. It was on Ember, which is where it belongs. <laughs> I'll take it back. But he put he put Antita's uh, bunny picture behind me, so I had ears, and then he threw the tin hat on me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and it's got the zero. It's got the zero point on it as well. Yeah, nice. <laughs> it's got the logo on it. The zero point, um, tin foil hat. Soon to be in the merch store. Plus, on the future when we were like, we're just gonna, we don't know what's coming, but we're just gonna, um, we're just gonna make it up, and we're just gonna guess of what what's going to occur. Like bust out the tinfoil hat time. <laughs> yep. Uh. Well, I predict that uh, Samuel will go to Mars. <laughs> In the future of Secret World. <laughs> right, sometime in the far future. He will go there and he will leave his employee badge. But how did you know that? But is Samael uh, on the moon? Is he now? See, like, I don't know. He's not. I, he could be. He's I think that was one of my. I think that was one of my favorite parts of. Uh, um, of Moons of Madness was when you found the 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 green screen that was on Mars. Oh, and for like, Antarctica! Yeah, and they're like, "We're here in Antarctica." <laughs> yes, that was so great. And then look the, over here, you, penguins. Did like, you tune the radio channel? You could tune the radio channel to the Antarctica frequency. Oh no! No, I don't think I did. Yeah, you can. There's like, cause you have to tune it to the right one. To like be able to to hear stuff, and there's right. a one of the frequencies is is the Antarctica frequency, and it's got like some some music thing playing that's a reference I'm not getting uh, currently, but yeah. 
Yeah. And well, and there's a script, right? There's a green screen. You can also find the script. The script, yeah. That that was yeah. my favorite part. Yeah. Like, look We're at all these. in Antarctica. Yeah, check out these. <laughs> look, there's a there's some penguins behind me. <laughs> I just I just love the fact of because it was like you know when people are like oh you know when we went to the moon like that was that was green screen and this is all like but they're on Mars green screening of a place on Earth. <laughs> that people have actually been, yeah, it's the that opposite. people have actually been to, yeah. We're not, pre- we're not pretending we've gone to Mars, we're pretending we haven't gone to Mars. We're pretending we haven't gone, we're pretending we've gone to Antarctica, yeah. <laughs> I'm yeah. like, oh, that's, that's brilliant. That, that, that's brilliant. That's I like it. double tinfoil hat. You know? That, that's like a tinfoil hat on top of a tinfoil hat right there. Like it's not that the moon landing was fake. It was that they it was that they went to the moon and they've been saying that they've been in Seattle the entire time. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's, it's it's that the moon landing was a cover for the fact that they're like on Jupiter or some crap. <laughs> like, <Yeah. laughs> like, up, oh, check out the moon. We're on the moon now, and they're actually like, yeah, in uh, uh out by Pluto. Should play Moons of Madness, man, because Moons is amazing. I need to play it again. I need to find some time and play it again at some point. I just I just couldn't get over the um making my uh making my core jump to a hundred percent. We did go to Tampa, Kalani. Damn it. Yeah. That's you... the best How part. could you miss that? <laughs> that was the best part of that loading screen. And I love <laughs> I love so much that that like they not only did Tron have that done intentionally, but that loading screen was revised like twice because the artist put it like in the wrong spot originally. And he was like, no, that's not where Tampa is. You need to move the marker. <laughs> <laughs> that's how much that they that he messed with that is like it, it got revised because he's like, no, 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 no. I said Tampa. <laughs> yeah, not not Orlando, Tampa. That was so great. I remember talking to him on voice about that, and he was saying, like, yeah, they sent it, he, he, you know, saw the picture, was like, no, that's wrong. Like, you gotta change that. We need to actually go to Tampa. We just had a nice layover there, that's all. Yeah. Yeah, we stopped, we had some, uh, what's a, what's a, what's a good airport food? Um, Annie Ann's pretzels. Yeah. There you go. Oh, yeah, they have, um, I think they got a Friday's at Camp International. Yeah, hot dog, hot dogs, right? Um, yeah. Nathan's hot dog stand. Good airport food. <laughs> if you step outside this community, the reviews are based like you can see the stitches where they glue as of stuff on the original game. Zen, that's that's just people that don't know what they're talking about, because it's not glued on the original game. It is the original game. It's people not understanding that. Legends is a relaunch of TSW. Like anyone that said anyone that's reviewing it, it says you can see where they glued SO stuff onto the original game has missed the entire point of what a relaunch is. I would say oh like almost one hundred percent is like <laughs> Um No they mean Moons was not in the Secret World Legends. What? They huh? Moons what? was. Wait, wait, what are you? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, hold on, hold on. You're missing context in your sentence. You mean they're saying the glue legend stuff onto the original game of Moons? No, okay, then they definitely don't know what they're talking about. They definitely don't know what they're talking about. Moons was not originally a completed game in the first place. Moons had like a like a real demo for like an E3 or something. So I mean it was it was supposed to be a Rock Pocket Games because I remember when they they announced this um that they were like we've just made a a deal with uh, Rock Pocket Games. That's all they were saying. They weren't even talking about anything else. And but if you went to Rock Pocket Games' website at that time, they were like, "Oh, hey, we have like all these screens of this game that takes place on Mars, and right. it's a Mars simulator slash horror game." 
Yeah, we got like we knew that was coming. What I'm saying is the game wasn't done. Oh no, it's far from done. Yeah. The game the people people act like uh People like act they, like they had a they had like, like a, this uh, an tank. engine base basically. Yeah, they had an engine base, but even the engine from what I understand um wasn't done either. Like it it got it got uh upgraded in the uh in the in the move, shall we say. No, cuz I mean again, I I would say if you think it's glued on, it means you don't know well where all the secret world stuff is. It's not glued on. It's glued in. <laughs> like, it's in everything. It is. It's a base is a Secret World game, yeah. It's it's everywhere. I mean, yeah, it's, I mean, I don't know. I guess that, that to me, that'd be like saying, like, the park is, like, you glued some horror elements on a walking simulator. Well, yeah, it's a walking simulator. But it's got to have a purpose, right? What is the purpose of, of the, the game? I really liked, um, remember that video I sent you the link for that was like in French or something? Yes. Yeah. I love that, that, that particular review for the, the guy talking about it. Cause he went on for about Secret World for like, <laughs> like three minutes or something. Yeah. It was like, oh, Moons of Madness is great, but, but have you seen this Secret World thing? <laughs> it's like, yeah. Like he was like, oh, it's. The story is is actually like in you know more in this this other game and it's about all and he just like went on about like trying to describe Secret World. It was awesome. So no, yeah, it's true. Like you know, with with the success of The Witcher, we're hoping that maybe we'll see some other video game um, properties be moved over to TV a little more. Because up until now, it's basically been been anathema to to even try. To have like a um, and there there's been there's been a couple, but anything that's come out as far as like a series or a movie has always been like yeah, it's it's okay, but it really wasn't really not good. Yeah. Well, it, and back back on the moons the moons thing, there was a bunch of people that kept saying like, oh, they just published it, they didn't do anything. They just published it, they didn't do anything. As far as the Funcom moons thing. Oh yeah. And I'm like, yeah, why don't you play the game and why don't you watch the credits? Why don't you play the game, watch the credits before you before you say that they didn't do anything? Because you know their their code team is in the credits, their QA team is in the credits, the you know Scribdomancer is in the credits. Is yeah, I mean the... he's yeah like if you want the entire story of the game, right? So anyone anyone that says like oh Moons was like complete and they just published and like slapped a label on it, I doesn't know what they're talking about. Honestly, so yeah, so we we just want uh, we just want Jimmy Depp to get his 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 button gear and uh, actually do something. Yeah, if The Witcher is doing well, you know you don't want the, all of a sudden the the market could possibly be flooded with with um, with video game shows. You don't want to wait until it's flooded. You want to strike while the iron's hot. Make it good. Yeah. Well, the thing is, is, like, people like the story. Like, you can say whatever you want, and people do because they're jackasses, about the game or, or development time or resources or whatever. But, like, the story, anyone that's ever, like, looked at the story that has half a brain and, and you know, is interesting, and, and, well, and, and finds that type of story interesting, is always like, oh my god, it's amazing. Since I think the genre is flooded, I've actually mentioned Stranger Things, but I wouldn't say flooded. That's like, like I don't Stranger think Things is like yeah. one. That's yeah. one. that's one show, and that's the only one I could really even compare like at all. Right? It, it wouldn't be exactly like it. But on Twitter, someone said, "Are there going to be more games that take place in Solomon Island, like the park and hide and seek?" <laughs> And they they weren't they had somehow missed Secret World. That's funny. 
<laughs> hey, can, can we have more games in this universe? Like, have you tried the original? Yeah. I have this thing called Secret World Legends. That's free. That's free. <laughs> Uh, new October something or other? Yeah, I've heard about that. Uh, that's pretty new. That's really new. It's supposed to be really good. I think Tilty actually tweeted about it. Oh, I Tilty don't. I don't even know about he it. He actually tweeted about uh how it's like impossible to stop watching. Like he keeps wanting to go next, which is which is. I mean, that's a that's a pretty good endorsement. October faction. Okay. All right. First, I'm hearing about it. I'm gonna have to bring up my my Netflix. Yeah, it's uh it's sort of like a supernaturalist kind of thing. People say like he said they would not SWL because it's watered down. <laughs> it's not watered down. I've I've actually spent more than a few uh, a few stream hours probably explaining like um because people complain that like the the skill system or build system is is like less complex they can't do as much and like no it's just as complex if not more complex it's just in different places yeah it's That's you true. know it's not all in the skill window it's in your gear it's in your weapon mechanics weapon mechanics wasn't a thing i think that uh, that they the they missed the tentacle um no, I, th I think they still have a chance. I don't think that it's far from... I think that having more um, horror-type season-long TV shows is only just beginning. Yeah, I'm with you there. Actually, this October Faction says I am a 94% match for this show. Okay. <laughs> It's a pretty high match right there. Yeah, it's a pretty high. I'm wondering why I haven't seen it. Why it hasn't suggested it to me yet. The only reason I haven't started is because I I feel like it, if it's if it's anything supernatural ish, like my wife's probably gonna want to watch it too. So I can't watch it without her. Like that'll get in trouble. <laughs> Yeah, somebody else picked up for a show a few years back. Yeah, no, that's the thing. We haven't heard anything about it. What? TV shows take a while. They do, but I feel like, you know, like like nowadays especially. How long Deadpool took to become a movie? I don't know. How long did that take? <laughs> oh, my God. It was, what was it? Hold on, hold on. I'll, 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 I'll it was eight. Exactly. Uh, I'm thinking uh, that nowadays. Six or eight years. years. Ten years, something like that. Yeah. But we'd have a lot more updates these days. Like, I'm thinking of, uh, you know, they'd be like, you know, the people who are working on it would actually want to tell people that they are working on it. Or the people that are, you know, unless they're held to some sort of high NDA, that they would be like, you know, starting production on whatever. Showing, like, the first page of the script or something. And a lot of times those rights purchases are just so they have the option sometime down the, down the road right right like they'll they'll buy up the ip for it and then just sit on it yeah they'll sit like forever 12 years? 12 years from the beginning of development of the deadpool film to when it came out i think yeah development began in 2004 deadpool came out in 2016 I remember, like, there was interviews, like, Ryan, Ryan Reynolds, Reynolds actually, like, wept <laughs> when it finally was coming out. The only reason it got made is the, is the, uh, that leaked footage. That leaked footage where he jumps off the bridge and, like, lands in the car and there's, like, a, like, a mini fight scene inside the car. That was, like, some leaked, like, footage that came out, like, test footage. And everyone loved uh, it. And, no, no, like, People wrote like hate mail at Fox for not having made the movie yet, because they were they were <laughs> sitting on it. They're like, this isn't gonna do. This isn't you know. They didn't want to make it R rated. They didn't want to. Um, they didn't want to like. They didn't trust it basically, and they got so flooded with mail once that shit was leaked, that like it, they got greenlit. Like, 
<laughs> because of the internet. And and Rhino was like, "Damn it! If I knew that, I would have le- I would have leaked it myself." So <laughs> it's a force. <laughs> it it totally is a force. I mean, I think it's just you know it goes to show you like how out of touch big studios can be with like what you know the market is ready for you know because they're sitting there going like no we're no not enough people are gonna want you know to see this r-rated movie like superhero movie there's just not the audience for that for this kind of investment you know and then that shit gets leaked and they get slammed they're like well if everyone that sent us something buys a ticket we've already made (laughs) i mean obviously it did well right they did Number two, I think there's a third one in the works probably at this yeah. point. That would make sense, yeah. I mean, both because they're doing really well too. I think the Bomber's right. Fox was very confused when they watched the movie. Um, I, I, I think a lot has changed in that, and I think Marvel Studios is a good example. Like, like honestly, I know some people that are really big. I'm a huge comic book person, but some people that are, you know, a bit hardcore can be like really down on on Marvel Studio movies. But Marvel Studio movies are like they're fun. The way, they're they're the way to do them. Like they they have this this standard. Like nothing. Like I don't feel like any of them that come out are like somehow worse than the others. Like they, they all have like a high. They have level. a formula. Yeah. Well, not just formula, but I just mean like it's almost like you know how like you watch like a, if you ever watch soap operas, they all have the same fucking filming. They all oh, use yeah. the same lighting. Mm-hmm. You can tell you're watching a soap opera the moment the channel comes on because the lighting is completely different than any other TV show. Well, it's and, also the uh, frame rate too. Yeah, frame rate, especially yeah for for. <laughs> I think it's like what 120 or something. Or yeah. So weird. It's just like you know, and your your sitcom show lighting is completely different than your soap opera lighting like because those are just yeah they're just churned out but yeah but if you have like yeah the the right recipe the right yeah, the right formula but i'm saying like they they the the caliber of actors they get the caliber of writers they get you know the di- caliber of directors they get just just the the visual look is like wait and so even if you don't like decisions they make or whatever i feel like the bar is like consistently you know, uh, a really good level, which yeah, like is not night and day if you watch older superhero movies. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. Like compared to yeah, some of the like uh like even the original like Hulk that was not Marvel Cinematic Universe. Like it's yeah, still it just it just feels entirely different. Yeah. Uh, but Hollow Point says yeah you need a you need a supported game for the TV show to work. Um, not necessarily. I don't know that that's true. That's not that's not necessarily true at all because, uh, it it would depend upon the how strong they think the actual show can do itself because it wouldn't be Funcom that would be making the the, the TV show, <laughs> you know, like it, it would be the with the strength of the story, right? That's what it has to do with. If the story can can be pitched in such a way that that makes sense and and i feel like everyone agrees the strength of secret world is its story and this That's is why also why i would like to see more other games other game types because the 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 universe the story is so rich like you could do so much with it but that's why we don't see like a like a world of warcraft tv show like they did a movie they, they did a movie and it was not yeah. great yeah <laughs> Is meh. Because because the story is not as compelling. Yeah, it's really not. You know, like it made it. But that's it made always a danger. What's that? That's always that's always a danger when yeah. you're translating books, um, you know, video games onto a different genre. Yeah. Uh, different medium. It's that's always going to be there. And another one is also. Uh, translating something like from the video game onto a TV screen is who will you cast in what role, right? They got it like hands down. They got it right uh, for The Witcher. So there would right, need to Henry be some, Cavill. yeah, oh yeah, 
he's he's amazing in there but i mean there definitely needs to be great casting for anything including anything secret world related i would love 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 to see something happen in that direction right but something like something like witcher where witcher is kind of a you know uh they they have the template of the world from the games and the books and but uh they found it very easy to write a very compelling story in that you know mm-hmm. like it, it it has to have a good uh, base what we're saying is that secret world has a good base you could do a lot like with game this thrones, base. Right? Yeah. game of thrones you know didn't follow the books exactly but it was a really good base for them to make a crazy good tv show out of i mean lord of the rings the the movies the Lord of the Rings movies, yeah. you know, like they used the books as a base. They didn't follow them exactly. They were they were pretty true to to certain aspects of it, but they didn't follow them exactly, and they were well, giant hits. I feel like that's also the great thing about Secret World is like it's it sets the tone, it sets the groundwork, but it's so open. You could make a show about like that's like Secret World that has none of the characters in the game in it. I would actually expect and, that it wouldn't have and any you of the characters. could and, and that would be completely fine because it's like it's about the world you're in. This shit's real. There's maybe some B shit happening. There's maybe like the the anima, you know. Right, like it could even birth. be just people who aren't who aren't bees and they're just seeing like you know, they just keep running into people who are or like, you know. Yeah. I do feel like it would make more sense to have like, you know, uh, I mean, you. I mean, technically, yeah, you could go all kinds of ways, right? If you really wanted to, you could go count um, Phoenician or Council and have it be a spy show or something. But I don't feel like that gives like the full tone of the Secret World like lore. I right, think it. Would, right. I think what would be more, you know, how the bees talk to you in your head. You imagine like your main, the main protagonist is like a, a, a you know, a bee person, but you don't know what's happening. These weird buzzing thoughts keep coming in your head. Like, if that was relayed on, on the television screen properly, that'd be creepy and cool as hell. And it could be done. It could be done with. Uh, with I think it could be done very well with today's technology. Today's technology and like you know decent decent uh, writers and and actors, you could get some pretty cool you know stuff out. But yeah, I mean, I don't know. I feel like the world, the world is set up so well that that you could, you know, take your story and set up shop in any corner of it and do your yep. own mm-hmm. sort of secret world themed thing. Yeah, you don't you definitely don't need to follow the game. You don't need to follow the. Um... Again, yeah, they could just be background, the characters well, that we like, know. Like the Matrix shorts. You know, they did like animated shorts for the Matrix. Just like weird little stories that happen inside the Matrix universe, or uh, there was even like comics they did, which again were just like their own stories, just set in the world. <laughs> but I think that's why we don't see something like, and I, and I'm, not, I'm not, I'm not fully bashing. World of Warcraft, don't get me wrong here, but th- but that's why we don't see something like that. Is That was kind of like a game first, a world second. Right. Yeah, because you have orcs and humans fighting, and now you have to invent a reason. Right, you know, because that's based off of, yeah, go back to Warcraft 1, and it was orcs orcs fighting humans. And so, so yeah, it's a, it's a game first, and a, and a world second. Whereas Secret World kind of has always felt like world first, game second. That sounds bad, but you know what I mean. <laughs> no, no, it is, though. It is. It totally is. I mean, and that's true because I think, you know, a lot of the idea or concept of the world was even before Secret World was a game. Right? I mean, ideas for Secret World come from, like, Dreamfall and stuff. The Longest Journey. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right, ideas for the concept of the world, like pre pre date. <laughs> Bingo uh, Cola. The game itself. Wow. 
promise yeah, I mean, there's that's a... Still... That's yeah, why I mean... Sequel has ruined me for other games, because other games just don't have the story depth. They don't. They don't. Like, that's, it's not common to find a game that has this much depth of story. It's really uncommon. I mean, I, mean, the, I would say The Witcher is, is another good one that does have, like, a really good sense, a really good, solid world, and a lot of writing behind it. Like, I would even say that, uh, like, Elder Scrolls is another one of those ones that has, like, a, a like a big world and, and pretty fantastic lore backing it up. But I'm not even sure if that is good enough. Well, not the I, I I know what you mean too. It's it suffers from that fantasy the fantasy trope I think. Yeah, like the, a little the, a little the, too much. Yeah, it's got like a mediocre level. Like uh, pretty much, you can kind of just read in like everything that's gonna happen. You know, there's not really a lot of surprises going on. Um. Well, Bomber says, uh, yeah, if they did a Warcraft show or another movie, something with Warcraft 3 story would be best because, right, because of the whole, um, yeah, Arthas and basically the, 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 the prince turning traitor against everybody. Yeah, absolutely. Well, the show is supposed to be sandbox and make you guys hear stories on each of it. I mean, yeah, but I mean, it does have a, Elder Scrolls. Um, it has deep, deep lore. It has, like, it has stuff about it, but it's just, it's not the same level. I mean, it's like I play Destiny 2, right? And Destiny 2 has story. It does. It's not the same. No. It's just not the same. It's not the same, yeah. Like, I would say it's better than average. Like, I would I would say, like, Destiny 2, has, for especially for that type of game, has probably much better story than the average that type of game. Like, it's got some good, some decent enough stuff there, but it's it's also the way it's fed to you, I think matters too. You know, it's not it's it's part of it's the writing style, how how it's delivered in game makes a difference. What happened? Ember, we doing okay? Yeah, we're doing good. It's just uh, uh, Skype something hiccup there. Yeah, <laughs> Skype Skype hiccup. Get the storm rolling through. Uh, it, it went through. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, we can okay. hear you. I'm right now checking. I was like, well, we, where's the storm for us? <laughs> oh, I'm Not supposed to get low. snow. Oh, yeah. yours, yours is supposed to be snow? I'm supposed to get snow starting at 3 a.m. It's supposed to snow like all day or some crap. Yeah. This it was like, like it's, it's been coming up the East Coast. It was like for an hour, hour and a half ago. It was like windy and rainy outside. That was pretty much it. <laughs> I give you my storm. <laughs> I remember like a while ago you were going to say agents and then, <laughs> then we... Yeah. Then we kept Agents? Going. What? <laughs> rain then, we went, then we went off on a tangent. The best we kind of we kind of for rain. We kind of went purple. off the rails a bit. Yeah, like <laughs> as, as we would, as per usual. As per usual. Um, but I think I think it's good. Anyway, I think we can wrap right? this up. Yeah, it's getting a little late. Yeah, some of us got to work in the morning. So agents. This has been the Zero Point Report, Strain 13-LKY. You can catch us recording live every other Thursday night at 9 p.m. Eastern Time here on the Zero Point Report Twitch channel, where you can also join us and chat with us while we do the show live. Or download our show wherever podcasts are found so you can listen to us on the go. <laughs> yeah, you can do that. You can get in touch with us by engaging with us on Twitter at Zero Point Report, <laughs> emailing us at the Zero Point Report at gmail.com, checking out previous shows on our YouTube channel, and joining us on our Discord server, both named The Zero Point Report. From all of us here at The Zero Point Report, and Antita, who happened to uh, join us today. And she's... <laughs> just <laughs> watching Jimmy, Jimmy shenanigans. Yes, no, it was great to catch up with you guys, always, and it was great to be a part of the show. Thanks for having me. Um... 
So from all of us here at the Zero Point Report, we want to thank you for tuning in and wish you all the best from the secret world. Have a great night, and we'll see you next time. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye.